Um, that's not meant to happen on the show. I don't know what happened. I guess that track is so fire. Yeah, it just, <laughs> it just totally did something to the system. So let's do a pull up and let's rerun the track, man, before we actually start the show. You now tapped into Ivory Radio. Let's get it. one of our guest artists and we are honored definitely without a shadow of a doubt to have the one and only Jess Blaze from hey, No hey. Filter Radio and also Indie Source Magazine in the building. Queen, what's good? Hey. Hey, I'm really good. Oh yeah, I'm really good. Like, give me a second. I know I got some I got some help. She's helping me with my audio. <laughs> audio things so we got it <laughs> thank you listen definitely honored to have you in the building for real um i just wanted i want to shout out to mj uh mj hip hop connect because that's evidently you know how i kind of sourced you uh she had an interview on samantha lavelle show let's get activated and then i, I saw you on there and i kind of tapped into you real quick it's like yo i'd like to, you to come on the show and it, i was definitely honored when you accepted my invitation as i am with, with many people because you've been in this business even longer than i have you know you've been running the radio and also in the magazine and doing the management so we're going to talk about all of that right now so yeah definitely definitely honored to have you 
<laughs> and um, just so you know, we are live on Facebook. We're also live on YouTube. We're also live on Twitch. And we're also live on Instagram. And we're also live on Clubhouse. So if you guys want to join in on the comments, uh, I would suggest that you come to either the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch. As you can see, uh, we can pull the comments up right here. You'll see them. So uh, if you're just happy to listen, if you're driving that drive safe and just tap in on Clubhouse as well. And if you want to come to Instagram, you can post the comments up too. So I will definitely be shouting everyone out. So um, yeah, we're pretty much going to get into it. I need everybody to share, please. Sharing is caring and all that. So um, just so you know, um, Jess Blaze, if I look down, it's I'm still paying attention to you. But at the same time, I do promote my stuff while we're actually I'm doing it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're really not because you got yours. I will not stop you, trust me. <laughs> That's what's up. So listen, man, no, I just, like I said, man, you have so many titles. Like, obviously, you know, being a manager and then obviously with the with the uh, radio, uh, No Filter Radio, and then also with the um, magazine, Indie Source magazine. So I pretty much want to start with, like, what was it first? What did you start out doing first of all? And, and kind of what year was that? And how did it all progress into everything that is progressed into? Well, first and foremost, I'm a rider. I ride motorcycles. That's that's my love. That's my passion. Yeah. Um, and then I, I received a phone call, well, a message actually, asking me to be a guest on a show, on a podcast. And I was like, mm -mm. I don't even like the way I sound on the microphone. I don't, oh, even, I don't even leave voice messages because I don't even like even voice messages. Right. So they're like, no, you have to come on. You talk a lot of shit and you talk a lot of real shit. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll try it. So I went on. And um, it was great. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then they invited me back and invited me back. And then they wound up making me a co-host. Right. I said, OK, this is cool. you know. And I started getting, it, was, it turned into a like, and then I started getting into a love for it. That's what's up. Moving forward, um, there were certain things that I wasn't really cool with as far as how they had their things structured. Yeah. And I felt like it was best that I removed myself from that because I couldn't really co-sign what they were doing. Right. Um, and I left. You know, respectively, you know, I left and um, I, I it was a toss of like, do I continue doing radio or just uh, do I stick to motorcycles and keep riding? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then, like I said, being that I grew a love for it, I said, you know, I can do this on my own. And it's, it's one of those take a chance type of things, you know, and I took a chance and I started I started it up. It didn't start as no filter radio. I actually had a different name for it. What was and it? Can you share it? No, no, because like, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, know what? what? I, I can. You know why? Because that's in the past. It was actually called The Menu. Okay. That's a, I mean. No, that's no, no. I mean, it's not. I'm saying it's not. I thought you was going to say something even worse, though. I'm yeah. saying, like, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not overly crazily bad, but I prefer what you call it now. I definitely prefer yeah. those sort of radio. With that, shout out. Absolutely. Because, like, now that I think about it, I was thinking about it back then. I'm like, The Menu. I'm like. Artists can't even spit a freestyle with a freaking menu. Like, what are they gonna say? You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, you know, I decided to um change the name, and when I was in the process of changing the name, I was completely stuck. I didn't know what to do, you know. Right. And then, like sitting thinking, and I'm like, you know, a lot of people tell me I have no filter. And I'm like, that's hmm. not I'm like, no filter radio. And I literally repeated it over and over for about an hour. <laughs> That's dope. And I was like, I had to let it like resonate with me. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. After a while, I said, you know what? I'm going to go with No Filter Radio. <clears throat> and then, you know, No Filter Radio was born. That's what's up. What, and what year, because I know it's, it's six years Six years you've been running. So mm -hmm. um, what year did you start? What year was it when you actually, they asked you to do the podcast? Was it was it like a year before 20, that? Yeah, in 2015. 2015. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, in 2016, I started No Filter Radio. That's so well, I can definitely relate to you because the same thing kind of happened. I mean, I've always had a love for radio, but I actually was working at another station mm -hmm. and the same with you. Like, you know, it's like you can't really evolve unless they yeah. evolve. And I was like, you know what? And I also understand as well the thing of I hate hearing my own voice. But even on, in the morning, it's I sound like Barry White. It's horrible. Like, don't you know, think, I like your you voice. Think, you think I'm a whole man. Like, I don't want to talk. That's how I think I sound, though. That's why I don't really like leaving voicemails as well. Like, it's crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I can't with well, you. My son, my son would love your accent. Are you crazy? Really? I like yours, though. Oh, my God. You're in New York twang to you, too. Everybody's. <laughs> when I go to Florida, I go into the supermarket. They're like, you got that New York accent. And I'm like, but where? <laughs> They're like, I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. 
I am, but that's you know because obviously you know I'm from the UK too, so it's even more prominent than it is for someone out here. Mm -hmm. But that's what's up, and I love the fact you ride bike. Like I said to you, like I have a before we came on, I had a love for bikes, man. But I mean, I can sit on one. I haven't been able to ride one yet, but she says she's going to teach me when I'm ready. Well, now that I know that you have a love for it, and I'm gonna be bugging you like you're ready. That's you ready? Up. Ready? Yo, ready? I'm serious <laughs> too. Like you know, what I mean, and New York ain't even far from Philly, so um, yo, yeah, we mm -hmm. definitely gonna be picking up on some other stuff too. So. Uh, that's dope. So then how did it um how did it transition into how did it transition into the management? Was it basically like people coming on your radio and then was it was it a case of people asking you, hey, would you manage me? Do you manage artists? And did it kind of happen like that? Yeah. Um between my interviews and my showcases that I would host. I was hosting showcases pretty much every month for about I want to say about three or four years. Dope. That's and dope. And I met, you know, met a ton of artists, good and bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, you... With some, you know, like I said, at the end of the show, like, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Or at the end of an interview, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? And, you know, I'm going in blind as well. I'm not even going to sit here and tell you I'm a professional manager because I'm not. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do right. do a lot of research, you know, and I do question a lot of people, especially people who are knowledgeable in the field that I'm not. I'm like a giant sponge, you know? I'm, I'm gonna be annoying you asking you a lot of questions because I want to know what you know. Right, you know? right. So um, yeah, you know, you know, mingling with people that like I said are in the field, doing research, you know, and knowing people that can potentially help artists in ways that I can't, you right. know, and I know that they would want to help artists, you know, in that nature. Um, you know, I gave it a shot and I did work with some artists. Um right. unfortunately, you know, they didn't do their part. And you know, yeah. I try to explain to them all the time, like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to be the artist. Right, right. I can't sing, I can't rap, I, I, I'll, I'll sing a song, and I'll, you know, I'll rap a song that we know about it, but, it, but that, I'm not the artist, I'm behind the scenes. I feel you, so yeah. I, I'm the one that's putting the flame in your ass. But right. it's up to you to take the initiative and do what you have to do as an artist. Right. You know? Yeah, definitely. And I could totally understand that too, you know, because like with anything, it's like even, you know, um, just the example, like even having your radio show. I don't know if you have uh, like have had different hosts and stuff. Sometimes it works mm -hmm. out, sometimes it doesn't. And it's never any malice. Like you said, it all just depends on the person, whether they're doing their part or whether or not they want to stay with us. They, you know, I mean, a lot of people like to spread their wings. Or, you know what I'm saying? So it's always like it's always a journey, man, for real. And you meet oh, so many quite, characters, so I yeah, I've had quite a couple of co-hosts myself, you know, in hopes that um, you know, this is something that you're interested in doing just as much as I am. You know, let's build together. Let's let's make it happen. Right, but again, exactly. you know, at the end of the day, my mental is like we're all adults here. Mm -hmm, I, have exactly. one, I have one kid. That's the only person that I'm obligated to repeat myself to. You know, to bang my head against the wall with and things of that sort. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we are adults. You know what you're getting yourself into, even if you're in the learning process, because I'm still in the learning process. But you have to give in as much as I'm giving in. And one thing about your brand, you know, you have to understand is that no one is going to give 100% like you are. Oh, man. Ever. You know, they might give, they're going to give that 99, mm -hmm. but they're going to be that whole 400 the way you want it and the way you see things, you know? Exactly. Yeah, no, a thousand percent. I, I, I've been said that, and I know obviously as well, like yourself, through experience. You know, mm -hmm. some people go harder, some people, they're not so much, but that determines the ones that are really kind of down, the really ones you can count on and call your mm -hmm. team, the ones that aren't, definitely. Mm -hmm. So um okay so how many artists have you have you would you say like you've managed up to now like how many how many different artists have come through you at this point because you've been doing it a while you've been doing it years so um I say maybe about four and currently right now two that's what's up dope can you tell us a little bit about the two and I want to shout out let me shout some people out that are in the building as well because they're all here shout out to hey Bobby Blaze is in the building where's he at there you go look thank yo, you ladies yo joint yo for real. That was yeah. my first time listening to it too because he sent really? it a couple of days ago, but I haven't had a chance to open up my email. Listen, it's fine. It's definitely going on rotation with us without yeah. shouting out. We've got shout out to Ty Hamill. DJ Shizmag is in the building. What's good, baby? Also, uh, Lena Croft Management is in the building as well. We've got uh, Rich Alexander, No Sleep is in the building. Uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Ashley Hoffman in the building too. Who else we got in here? Let me see. Oh, Misha Gillum L. 
Shout out to Misha. Hey, what's good, Misha? I'm just making sure I shout around. And we got a uh, Trowan Deers in the building. Everyone's tapped in. We got a uh, Teresa Taylor as well. Uh, greetings to you all today. She's from a uh, global entertainment empire media. It's such a long time, like I remember it. <laughs> She's actually, uh, the CEO as well and the editor for Global Fire magazine. Uh, oh, shout out to Javante, Javante Quirk, Sean. Uh, you probably know a lot of these people too, because like I said, you've been doing this longer than me, and you know. You've had a it's isn't it funny how like big the independent so house how can you say it like you kind of think it it's I, big or small it, yes that's it i was gonna say it. it's yeah you think it's small. It's, 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 it's six degrees of separation honestly right and i tell people that all the time it's like there's somebody that you and i know that we mm -hmm. haven't really connected with yet exactly to that point we're gonna be like oh shit you know that person <laughs> exactly for real <laughs> Real. Shout out to a, a T Chisel in the building from uh, that is I can't remember everyone's name. Uh, New Gang City man. Shout out to them. But yeah, definitely Teresa said exactly. Uh, she was a great true. And uh, shout out to Derek Scott from Banks Music Management. And I gotta shout out everybody on Clubhouse. We've got uh, Dean Foster loyalties before royalties on Clubhouse. We got Takiro on Clubhouse. We've also got Aquarius Waters in the building. We got American Hustlers by Ruckus in the building uh, on Instagram. We got Ricky Lane official. We got Beauty by Blaine. We got uh, Mike Tanner in the building. Shout out to everybody, man. That's what's up. <laughs> so, uh, and everybody, make sure you go follow Jess Blaze official. You can see the Insta You can see the Instagram going across the banner at the bottom. Please make sure you tap in and also tap in to uh, the other pages so it's at no filter radio llc on instagram and i believe it's is it indie source magazine correct me if i'm wrong on instagram it's, uh, indie source mag underscore there you go okay great so make sure y'all tap in please uh Shabazz banks is in the building we got a female a producer and amazing amazing artist yes. yes i love female producers and djs i love but females like, in this industry yeah. that are, like how, you know it's, it's dope yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. Like, I love it too, because it's like, I feel like, especially through this, uh, you know, through what's been happening with COVID and that, like, I feel like we uh, women have come a lot, become a lot closer in this industry too. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, and I feel like it was definitely needed, you know, yeah. it's definitely needed for the queens to kind of put together, because it's so male dominated. Girl. As you know. Girl. Hmm. Ah! Hmm. Can we curse on here? Huh? I would say again. Can we curse on here? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. There's a lot of dick consciousness going on. <laughs> yes, definitely. Oh, have you? I want to ask you, like, to have you? How have you found it? Because, like I said before, you've done it. You've been doing it way longer than me. So, like, how have you found the journey being a female in this industry? How's it been for you? Um, it's pretty cool. It's fun. It's challenging. You know, you get underestimated a lot. Um, you get tested. You know, um. But at the end of the day, is if you're a strong-minded woman and you know what you want and you know what you're going for, nothing can really stop you. Exactly. You know, and it's all about mingling with the right people because you're gonna bump into people who are not good for your space and your energy. Facts. You know, so you just have to learn how to, you know, keep those people over there. And you know, you can live. You know, you can live. You could coexist with people, but just you don't have to do business with them. I'm glad you said that too, because I think, and I say this all the time, it's very paramount that, like you said, that you make sure you're around people whose energies resonate with you because, you know, your vibe really is your tribe. But mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, even when people do react a certain way to you, you you have to just, like you said, keep them at a distance, but don't burn no bridges because like you just stated, th things come around in full circle. Oh, like, yeah. like It's small, but it's big, but you're going to know someone that knows someone and there may come a time where you have to cross that same bridge. You should, you should no never burn a bridge. Period. I've I've been in a such more than a few situations where people, my people, would hit me up and they're like, "Oh, you know about you know this person?" And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah. And they're like, "Oh, because they hit me up for some work, but they mentioned your name." Right. And I'm like, "All right, well, being that they mentioned my name, this is what went down." And they're like, "Oh no, I'm not fucking with them." And then, right. you know, it's not me, you know being the, the monkey wrench, you know what I mean? It's just them on their own accord saying, I'm not dealing with that person because how you treated me. Right. And uh, you know what? There's another very poignant point that you just made there. Like it, how you treat people and how you treat people period in life. Mm -hmm. There's so much about you and you have to be very careful because even though we have our brands, right? We can have the best marketing strategies out there, right? But we have to be very, very mindful how we treat people, not only people that are good to us, but the people that may not be so good, you have to be very mindful because that the mouths that people have, sometimes people, even if it's not our fault, people are going to believe what other people say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we always have to really keep our integrity. And I, I think it's like you said, 
I always keep it real like you, you know what I'm saying? Like I always keep it 100. But at the same time, I'm very um, cautious as well. Be mindful like, about what you say too. Mindful, very mindful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very mindful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because it, it really, you know, word of mouth and that, it has a, a big profound effect yes. on it. You, listen, word of mouth is better than social media promotion. There you go. You know? Thousand percent. Thousand yeah. percent. Yeah, because I know you've probably been in situations, right, where people at, at, like where people just you know what I mean you might not even know these people but they know you and then when, if you say to them like well how do you know me oh well I heard about you. <laughs> yeah, <there> you <laughs> about you. And I'm like did they say good things that they say I, I cook good <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> there you go there you go so tell us about tell us about the two artists that you currently that you're currently managing so um evidently we, we listened to one but tell us a little bit more about him how that how that transpired that you ended up managing him and, and stuff like that and then tell us about the other one if you don't mind um well the new one is his name is taekwon he's from jersey um i just like literally almost yesterday started you know i know him i know, know him is he campbell? yeah he's from jersey and his wife's gail campbell correct i'm like, not too sure yeah, i think it I think it is, but yeah, carry on. I know him. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. See? There you go. His music is super dope. I love his yeah. music. His music yeah. is fire. Yeah, him and um the other guy that I was gonna send you, Purge. Oh, dope. Before we came on. So, and how long? How long have you been managing Purge? And how did that? How did that transpire? How that's, did kind of, that's kind of off and on because he's dealing with a personal situation right now. Um, but I got connected with him to a childhood friend. That's actually her godson or no, her cousin or her godson, but I know it's, it's a family member of hers. So right. She knows that I would do radio. She's like, look, you have to listen to him. He's looking for management. He needs help. He needs help pushing his music. His music is dope. So I'm like, first thing I say, send me his music. And you know, she said she had him send me a couple of tracks and I instantly just fell in love with his music. Instantly. Hi. And That's it's very true. rare that I do that, you know, because a lot of artists, I'm I'm kind of picky when it comes to artists. Right. Because I'm tired of the same sound. I hate auto-tunes. Like, I seriously hate auto-tunes. Uh, no, it means <laughs> too. I feel like... Whole, especially when they use the whole three minutes of the song full of auto-tunes. <laughs> right, right, definitely. Sorry, it sounds like we've got some gremlins in the speakers right now. These gremlins seem to come on this show, like I swear <laughs> to They want to join the party? They were, yo, you feel me? That's like scratching. Like, it sounds like they're in the, they're not actually in the speaker, but it's just coming from this, uh, this stream. I don't know why, but it's gone now anyway. But yeah, no, auto tune. Don't even get me started on that. I mean, people, I hate it. I hate it. But at the same time, I, I, there are some people that use it and they know how to use it very minimalist and, and it kind of works. But yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't use it. You know? Oh, no, I know you know. I was just saying. Yeah. I just, I, I detest this so much because they, it's, it's so watered down at this point. It is. It's overused. It's oversaturated, overused. and it's like it's like. Let me hear the real you. Facts. It's, it's bad enough the majority of them, of them lip sync. Facts. But that's yeah. a, that's a whole other conversation. That's a whole. Yo, we just yo. Listen, I just spoke about that with Jericho White yesterday. We just I, she was on yesterday, another outstanding independent artist, and we just spoke about the lip syncing thing and performing with their full backing tracks and. Stuff like that. <laughs> That's my biggest, biggest pet peeve, literally, like, in doing radio. Like, right. I, every, for my showcases, I literally make an announcement before the show starts. And I'm like, don't lip sync, because if you lip sync, I'm going to have the DJ pull the plug, or you're not going to just qualify for the competition that I have set up. And not only that, but it's not even about me. It's you're cheating yourself. Exactly. You're cheating, you're cheating yourself, and you're cheating the people who are coming out to see you. Mm-hmm. You know exactly. I mean? like be who you are. If, if if you're gonna fuck up, you're gonna fuck up. You're an aspiring artist. Yeah. You're going to fuck up, and I, I want to see those fuck ups, and I want to see you fuck up and continue going because then it shows you how passionate you are for what you're doing. Amen. People make mistakes. You know what I mean? It happens. I'm glad you do that too. I'm glad you do that because uh, that's really having the artist's best interests at heart when you do that. Because mm -hmm. you're not, it's like, it's you know a love hate thing. Some of them love me for it, and some of them are like, bitch, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, like, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, but yeah, your, your boys can keep, keep telling you you're hot. No problem. <laughs> at, at the same time, though, you know, it's your show, you know, it's your showcase, right? So it's like, it's like with the business, like when, you know, when it, how people conduct themselves, mm -hmm. you, you want it to be. Yeah. Look professional, so you want it to be professional. You right. don't want 
You don't want people walking out. You don't want, exactly. you know what I'm saying? You're trying to attract exactly. people. I walk out when I get invited to shows. I just recently walked out of two shows. Like, because man, of, walk out. Yeah. Because the whole crowd is cheering. And I'm like, wait, her microphone is down here and her vocals are going right now. Like, she should be here. Like, if you're going to lip sync, master the art of lip sync, I guess. You know? If you have to. If you have to. If you have to. But right. I really don't see no point in it. You know what I mean? I, I really right. don't. Because like I said, if you're an aspiring artist, then you know, aspire to be the best that you could possibly be. Exactly. Simple. Exactly. Yeah, a thousand percent. So, so what made you decide to do the magazine? What made you decide to transition into Indie Source magazine? A group on Facebook. <laughs> That's what's up. I, I, no, I started a group on Facebook. It was called mm -hmm. Indie Source News. And it was basically going to have, you know, Indie source news about indie right. artists and strictly just indie artists because my my station is strictly indie artists. I have twenty four. Yeah. I have between twenty four seven, yeah. and you will never hear a mainstream artist on my station. Like, yeah. yeah, because what's the point? You can turn on the radio and you can hear it. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, but um, I started a group on Facebook, and then I started speaking with a couple of people of mine, and it was brought to me like, oh, you know, you should do a magazine. And I was like, hmm. I'm like, that's a lot of work. I already got enough on my plate. Let's do it. Fuck <laughs> <All right. laughs> it, let's do challenge. it. It's a challenge. I love it. Love yeah, a challenge. Exactly. Love a challenge, you know? Yep. So, um, I wound up doing it. And again, came in blind, had no idea what I was doing, did some research. And, you know, here I am almost seven, nine months later. And I'm on my ninth issue, and I'm on. I have a billboard in Times Square right now. So you do. I was gonna congratulations, <laughs> yo. And um, you know, I got some people. Shout out to Skyward. He um he actually again he that's he's a manager and stuff too. He has his own podcast and, and radios and stuff. And he actually does. He sets people up with those billboards in oh, Times. Nice. Yeah. So congratulations on that. Like and and you know what? I'll be honest with you. That's been one of my dreams for years. Even when I was in the UK, I was like, yo, one day I need to see. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna definitely work on that. That's what's up. So tell us how did that transpire? Because that's like, yo, I'm telling you, I get goosebumps thinking about it. Like, thank you, Teresa. Um, that was that was by chance and luck. That right. was just me shooting my shot off of a post, off of a, a sponsor post I saw on Instagram, and I reached out, and you know, a conversation was had, and they told me to, you know, and then. About two weeks later, I had a billboard on Times Square. <laughs> oh, that's so dope, man. That's and, so and, 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 you know, moving forward now, I'm working with this, the owner of um, this billboard company. It's a Black-owned billboard company. Yes. Oh, um, I'm working with him now. So, you know, anybody needs a billboard, holler at me. <laughs> that's dope, man. And, yeah, again, um, like I was saying with Skyward, again, it's Black-owned as well. And, you know, I'm all for that. I'm all yeah. for that anything black owned and that's like mm -hmm. we do right here i'm sure you have like different uh you know black owned businesses coming on and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah and and i wanted to ask you as well shout out to everyone else that's in the building we got um yeah black entertainment empire is at black empire entertainment even and the gibbons in the building and uh also someone else oh samantha lavelle tapped in as well shout out to you double salute queen uh who else we got look uh loving the queen energy tonight said ashley that's what's up and Teresa said yeah congratulations so um Thank yeah you. um uh, I actually forgot what I was saying. Man, <laughs> that ever happened to you? All the time. Oh, thank you. You All made me feel so comfortable, I swear. Because I've been blaming the weed. I told me that's what they told us. That we just going to make us lose our memory. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Because sometimes I'm like, hold up. Is it only me? Like, sometimes my brain, like, the question will be there. And then it just goes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, I, yeah, I, I'm going to ask you this. Like, so what is your favorite thing out of all you, all three things that you do? Because I know number one is riding motorbikes. We know that. Well, I like cook too. I'm. I'm. Are like, you cook? I know. I see you. I see you on your live on your. Yeah, if I can live in my kitchen, I probably will. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, I love cooking, but um, I would say um, motorcycles and cooking. <laughs> How about out of the out of the three businesses? So the management, the radio, and the magazine. Or do you like them? Or do you have a passion for um, them? Um. I would say the radio only because I, I'm just, I'm fresh with the magazine. Don't get me wrong. I love doing the magazine. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of pressure sometimes, um, you know, and making it look good. I, I do get inspired by other independent magazines that are out there as well. But um, 
Yeah, I would say the radio because in radio, I guess you meet so many different artists from all over. Um, like I was telling you before, before we got on, I was using StreamYard last year. Yeah. And it was off the strength of me and my partner out in uh, Florida. Shout out to Ravi. Shout out to him. Um, we, I decided to do uh, live reviews. Dope. Okay, dope. <laughs> so I mean, the first night I went live, I had people from literally all across the world. I had someone from Alaska. That's dope. Okay. That's dope. And, and that's how I met Rich. Where is he? That's how I met Rich, Rich Alexander. Um, Rich, I yeah. Like, but I met so many artists that I'm still in contact with now that are super dope. Um, so yeah, radio I would say is one of my is my top definitely. So and you know I, you know I can relate because I started my review show but like four years ago on my show <laughs> and it was like the very first review show in Philly. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, and it just really it, like I already had obviously quite an international following only just be, from being you know from England and coming mm -hmm. over here. And, yeah. Networking for years over there on all because I think the key is to network on the group pages and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, you drum up, you really drum oh, yeah, up yeah. a lot of people, That's don't you? You can, you can vouch for it. And um, mm -hmm. and yeah, then and then it was like it was an explosion of these phenomenally talented artists from all over, like Africa, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. you see, yeah, Africa, yeah I, like, I get so much music from Africa. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And when you hear it, like I'm thinking I'm gonna hear like drums and stuff. Right. <laughs> and the right. music is super dope. Definitely. So can you tell, like, how can people tap into the show? And you, cause, so is it a 24 hour station? Like do, you got music playing 24 hours, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. That's dope. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So how, how can people tap in and how do you select the music, you know, to go on rotation? How do you do that? Is it, do people pay for the rotation or do you no. just select? That's good too. They don't pay for rotation. Um, my, another one of my biggest pet peeves is when I ask artists to send music, they send me blank music. Right. It's not tagged. And I'm like, you're slacking on your job or your, your producer or your engineer. They're not doing their part. You know, they, it doesn't right. have a title name. It doesn't even have an artist name. I hate that. That's my pet peeve too, sis. I'm yeah. like, y'all need to put the title of the track, name of the artist, your IG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you're from. Like, you have to listen to the chorus to figure out what's going <laughs> You know what I mean? I might get it wrong. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I asked them to send me music. I, I review the music before I put it on. And if I feel that it's good enough, then I'll add them and I create a rotation. Um, the amount of songs is is pretty much up to me. Right now, I would say I have maybe about over a hundred and something artists playing right now oh. continuously. Um, there is no limit as far as how long they get to be on there. So I'm not like, all right, you're only gonna be on there for three months. You know, if you're on there, you're on there. And if I give them new music, I'll add new music and you know, take out the oldest tracks, you know, and just refresh the track like that. I love that. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, we, I resonate with you so much because that's literally what I do. Like, people will send it in. I review the track. If it, if we rate on a scale of one to ten, if we rate mm -hmm. it like a nine or ten, and it's literally production's on point and it's radio ready, boom, it goes on rotation mm -hmm. and it stays on rotation basically yeah. forever. Yeah, you know yeah. this is good music, and if it's good music, I, and you know what? Honestly, I listen to my station a lot, like a whole right. Um, and it, it comes to a point where I'm literally mm -hmm. reciting the songs. That's dope. You're reciting more of the songs. That's as, you know, it's like if you're listening to the regular radio dope. station. Yeah, you know, so it's pretty cool. That's that's definitely how I am. It's definitely definitely that. And, and some and people, some artists, as my ringtones. Yes. <laughs> So, I'm like, oh no, this track is hot. I gotta put this as my ringtone. <laughs> and it's so dope, like you say, as well. When you're actually on the radio and they see you, and then the track plays and they see you singing along, they're like, hold up, yeah. she knows. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, especially when they're performing too. When, when I have yes. some performing, they'll see me like reciting the words. They get all excited. I'm like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Definitely. So, like, how do they? Do you have like? Is it on an app or anything like that? Or uh, can you tell us like how how everyone can tap in? Yeah, um, well, it's, it's a couple of ways of listening. You can listen via Alexa. You just ask to listen to No Filter Radio LLC. It'll come on. You can also listen to our podcast, our previous, previously recorded podcast on there also. That's um, dope. The mobile app is Live Radio. That's L-Y-V radio.com slash w -R. I'll type that in for you. Um, my website, No Filter Radio LLC.com. And um, Tune In Radio as well. That's dope, man. Yeah. I know everyone's going to want to tap in and they're definitely going to want to submit music. Yeah, please, because I, I want to add some of the music for 2022. So please, yeah, send me your music. Um, You can send me music at info, no filter radio, LLC.com. Dope. Um, or you could DM me and, you know, we'll talk through there or whatever, you know. 
that's dope and you know what um you know um i'll say like in the new year what i can do is you know what if we can connect i have some phenomenal tracks from phenomenal artists that i can then forward to you too Okay. So, I'm actually it. filling up my magazine also for January and February, so I'm doing some free featured artists. So, if that's you have artists that you feel like you would want them to be featured on the magazine, you know, let me know. Oh, uh, definitely. I'm trying to put you in there too. Oh, you are? I'm trying to put you in for January. Not ah, that's oh, love. By the way, I was supposed to DM you that. That's love. Hold up. Thank you, Queen. Oh my God. You see my that's a <laughs> Man, that's what's made my day even better. Thank you. That's love, man, for real. Yes, that's definitely good. You know, I just dropped, um, shout out to Teresa Taylor, Global Fire Magazine. I just dropped, uh, she had, she she wanted to put, she already put me in it, I think, a couple of months ago. And then she put me on the front cover for December. But she's like, but I'm oh, actually want yeah. you to send me all the people you want to go in it. Oh, so I actually yeah. picked out. It was hard, though, sis. I couldn't yeah, even. Hard. I didn't think I felt when you told me to send you music. <laughs> yes, you did. So you feel me? It's like, no, I'm like, okay, so, you know, I think there's about like 60, no, there was a hundred, it turned out 118 pages, 118 oh, wow. pages. Yeah, so I had to like, just say the people that didn't go in this edition, she's going to let me do it again later on in the year next year. Okay, nice. So I'm just going to put, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I'm so not. I got you on that edition, I'm telling yeah, you, definitely. for I'm real. Because I featured not only artists, I featured other radios and stuff like yeah, that. that yeah, me too. I, in entrepreneurs, producers, I love DJs, it. all that. I love that you have a small business. I even had, you know, the paparazzi jewelry. Yes. I had a female that I know. I I put her on there also with her paparazzi jewelry. You know, it's That's it's all so about it's about good. independent. You know, anything yeah. if you're independent and you're doing something independently, yeah. then you have every right. You know. See, I swear, it's like you're like a mirror because you're like, it's crazy because I didn't really know. Like I said, uh, you know, obviously from MJ being on that show and seeing you yeah. there, and mm -hmm. then I saw obviously your titles, but I hadn't tapped into the show. I didn't know what it fully entailed. You get me? And I was like, mm -hmm. I have to have her on the show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's dope because yeah, your my mindset is just like yours. So Love I <laughs> so I want to be like you when I go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. telling you. Yeah, because you're solid, man. Definitely. Thank you, thank you. And thank you again, man. That's really, that's really, really like made actually that's made my year again, what you just said about putting me in the magazine. Yeah. So, but I'm definitely gonna tap in with you, yeah, with the artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and, and you also mentioned about putting on shows about you wanted you possibly wanted to do one in Yes. We're gonna we have to definitely definitely do that for 2020. That's on the to-do list. Not maybe, but that's definitely on the to-do list. Yeah, definitely. That's gonna be outstanding. Yeah, you already know. I'm definitely, definitely all for it. So, um, mm -hmm. I wanna actually like, what would you say is the hardest thing with everything that you do? What is the hardest thing for you? Like the hardest kind of battle that you feel you had to overcome with everything that you're juggling? Just like you know, with personal and obviously with with what you're doing with all this independent um promotion. Just making sure I stay relevant and you know, being as consistent as I possibly can. You know, there's times where I had to take a break for personal reasons. And, you know, not only that, but, you know, us being entrepreneurs and being independents and doing so much that we do, we tend to forget to pause, you know, and, and realize that we're humans and we have personal lives as well. And, you know, we have to take care of things and, and things of that sort. So, you know, like I said, just maintaining um, sanity. <laughs> Yes, that's key. Because <laughs> this, yeah, um, this industry yeah. can send you loopy if you let it. Yeah, continuing to believe in myself. Yes. Because you know, you're going to have people believe in you, but it's about believing in yourself and knowing what you can do. Oh, man. Um, and just, you know, just giving it your all. You know, as you know, my challenges have been, just like I said, trying to make sure I make it. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be like the top dog or anything. You know, we all trying to make it here. Exactly. Oh, man. I'm not in competition with anybody but myself into trying to be a better person. Oh and man. People around me that can inspire me. Like mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh thank you. Things like that, then you know, I need you around me. I need that good energy around me, you know. Uh, that's beautiful as well. Again, I resonate with that because that, that's exactly my mindset. Like, you know, I want it's like um, like you said, I'm not trying to be number one or anything. I'm literally trying to just be the best that I can be and really show love and help people as much as I can, because I don't want to be, if it was to happen, like if say, if you was to be, you know, to, to rise and talk, I don't want to be there on my own. Why would I want to be there? I want everybody around yeah, me. Exactly, and exactly. it's not, 
and I want not- to enjoy it, especially if I know that you're capable of doing it too. Exactly. If you have to fight and heart and energy for it. Why exactly. not? Exactly. It just makes the journey that much more beautiful. More, more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And absolutely. you know, and yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not one of them clicky. I'm not one of them. I'm I'm full love. Listen, I should show the same love to everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as you know no one's doing me wrong. Right. That my support, you got me my love, exactly. and it's, it's the same for everybody. There's no special. It, it's every. I love everybody with the same amount of love. Exactly. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, shout, shout out to oh, Mr. Larry Leo saying <laughs> you're both very inspiring, fam. Oh, that's Thank love, you. Mr. Larry Leo. <laughs> that's love, definitely love. So, what would you say, like it, the thing that really motivates you? So, what when you get up every day, what is that kick, that motivation that makes you say, "Hey, you know what? Let's get it." <laughs> my son. Oh. So. Not letting him down because uh, giving up is not an option. Right. It's right. just it's not an option. Like it's not even in our vocabulary. That's dope. We don't say that here because right. you know to try is to fail. You gotta therefore you must succeed. That's true. You know so and that's what I try to instill. In, that's what I have been instilling in myself for the last nineteen years. You know right. he just discovered he's in college. He's in his second year of college right now. That's what's up. He was just having a meltdown. <laughs> I can imagine. With all weeks ago, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to figure out life. And I'm like, you don't even have to figure out life right now. Just figure out what you want to study. Right. <laughs> you know, and take it day by day. But, you know, it's, it's showing him that anything is possible. You know, because I used to be super. My son has a little bit of a social, you know, communication issue. Like, he's very close. He's very, he's a loner. Yes. And I love that. I love mm-hmm. that. You know, he's. I think that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Age, please stay by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You know, but um, I used to be very shy, and people don't even believe me when I tell them that I was. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I would tell them like you know when they call you up to the classroom so you can read your report. I'm like, uh, I gotta use the bathroom. Like, can I go to the bathroom right now? I don't think I can read this. I used to be I used to be sitting at the back like, please don't ask me. I would be like slumped down in my chair, and then as soon as they come in, I'm like, come in. <laughs> yeah, so you know and then one day i just was like i don't know i just woke up with some courage and i'm like i'm just gonna say what the hell i want and that's dope that I sounds so much like me i'm like yeah i'm just gonna get on that stage i'm just gonna do this and i'm just gonna attack this whatever mm-hmm. and it's crazy like you said as well because you said like and if you look at like some of the most successful people in the world they failed like and i don't even call it failure it's not even failure it's the build-up to success because if absolutely. you haven't failed, you're not going to succeed yeah absolutely no one no one that's ever just part, goes, of the, part of the blood sweat and tears exactly you know exactly and, and, and i feel like they say uh is it five years or seven years that it takes before your business actually kicks off yes they do say five that. or seven or something like yeah. that so we're almost there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're pushing towards it. We're pushing towards it. We're doing good. <laughs> and, they do, and this is a fact too. You lose way more money in the beginning oh, than you make course. money. Absolutely. Really fact. And if you're not prepared, <laughs> get on. <laughs> because I'm on a billboard right now that I, I got like hundreds of thousands of dollars rolling in my account right now. And I'm like, I wish. <laughs> right, right. And it, and and they say that too. Like if you're not prepared to take risks and you're not prepared to to lose, lose money and just lose, mm-hmm. don't even try to be an entrepreneur. Don't yeah. even. It's not meant for you. Definitely. Yeah. You have to really be a risk. Don't get an LLC unless you're ready to pay taxes. Oh, say again. Don't get an LLC unless you're ready to pay taxes too. Right as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true too. That's true too. <laughs> Man, that's a whole nother ball game. I just watched the. I'll tell you that like off of air. Just, no, we gotta start paying. So yeah, <laughs> that's the reminder. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I literally clicked on something on YouTube the other day, and they were talking about that how so many people go into it and they don't really do the research and they don't yeah. understand it. Yeah. And they're all like, "Hey, yeah, it's a guy at LLC." And I then know, all these three letters, and I'm like, "All right, so what are you gonna do with it now?" You know? <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And um, and, you know, I'm just sorry backtracking to what you said before I asked you those, those couple of questions. You were saying like. You know about um, when I was saying like, what's the hardest thing for you? Like, you know, the biggest kind of struggle with everything that you do. You said, you know, obviously, you know, maintaining that balance and you know, you know, just believing in yourself. But you made a very poignant point, and I think a lot of people forget it. And in the past, I've done it. I burnt myself out. Like some people feel it's not good. Like they just they want to go so hard. Like no break, no break. I'm just gonna go, 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 go. It's understandable because it's your brand, and you want to go hard for your brand, and you want to yeah. want to make it pop, and you want people to know you and remember you and talk about you and so on and so forth. But you know, it has repercussions if you don't kind of take that time to to pull back, just meditate, appreciate, Definitely. and then move forward. Because I feel like when, and I know from experience, when you do that, 
you just i don't know you just you ha you appreciate things a little bit more and you just go that much harder when you do right. yes yeah. and not only that but you also see how far you've come too thanks thanks because yeah. sometimes you're in the middle of like the knuckle and bustle and you know hustling hard and you're like damn well, where am i going or i feel like i'm right. still in the same place but when you actually sit back and you start realizing all right you know six months ago i wasn't doing this facts you know facts. Yeah. Or six months from now i'm gonna be doing this yeah you know what i mean so definitely definitely yeah because mm -hmm. i just i hear a lot of stories of people getting like burnt out stressed and, mm -hmm. and it's because they're consistently on the go i'm just yeah. 24 hours around the clock like and i know some people say they don't believe in sleep but you actually do need to get some you do need to get some. I know. I've been to sleep myself, but I know how it is. And me too, though. I'm. The, I, it's easy to say it, but I'm a kind of a night owl. I don't yeah, know what it too. is. I don't go to sleep till like maybe four in the morning, four or five in the morning. Yo, I'm telling you. They say they say the people that don't sleep are not the thinkers. The, and they say they're the creators. It's the, the, creators, creators. the thinkers and the creators. The creators, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So what would you What would you say like has been um your biggest accomplishment so far? Just with every like maybe you um, had a. Well, my first interview when I officially started no filter. No, I'm sorry. My yeah, my first interview was with Spliff Star. Dope. Uh, Buster Rhymes, hype man. That's dope, eh? Hey. Yeah, I, the way that happened, um, his manager was actually at my showcase the night before. And oh. she came up to me and she's like, oh, can I get your business card? And, you know, I didn't think anything of it because everybody else was asking for my business card. And I'm moving around, I'm hosting. So I'm like, right. oh, here you go, you know, thank you, appreciate it, thank you for coming. And I get a call the next day and she's like, yeah, I want to schedule an interview. And I'm like, okay, you know, who's the artist? She goes, Spliff Star. And I'm like, who? She goes, Swift Star, you don't know who he is? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to make sure we're talking about the right person or the same person. She right. goes, I said, Buster? She said, yeah. I said, I'm in my head like, holy shit. Like, who That's sent cool. her? You know what I mean? That's and she dope. goes, yeah, I was in your, um, I was at your showcase last night. It was dope. And um, I want him to come on your show. And I'm like, let's, let's do it. So she goes, how much? And I'm like nothing like i'm not charging you she goes no i want to pay you for the interview and i'm like i'm not charging i said if you pay me i don't want him on my show well, and she goes she's like literally for like five minutes i'm like we're going back and forth on payment and i'm like no i don't want your money i is you have to understand it's an honor just have right. this man okay. to be able to sit yeah. right across from me and i have a conversation there's someone that i grew up listening to that's dope man. To have him sitting in front of me you know and literally have a conversation and bugging out with him and so on and so forth and so this day, right now, him and I are still cool. That's so dope. Look at that. So, yeah, he, I, I actually, uh, he had a, a studio where he recorded about two rooms down from my husband's studio where I share with him. So, so I see him all the time. If I had food, I would come down the hall, give him some food. That's so dope. Uh, yeah, so that was, uh, it was pretty cool how we actually, he he remembered me. That's dope. You know, say artists, you know, you could say artist knows you or, but do they remember who you are? Exactly. You know what? I'm just going to say this real quick. People never remember what you did for them. People always remember how you treated them. All the time. All the time. All the time. Oh, and I did interview um, Cassidy as well. Hey! That's uh, he that up for me. I interviewed him twice because the first interview went far longer than we expected. And the conversation was so dope. I was like, I have to have you back on. And, you know, we were able to set up a second interview. It was super dope. Again, someone else that I grew up listening to. Oh, yep. I was able. We smoked the blunt while we were doing the live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was it was just really cool. You know, to be able to you know uh, yo yo. I don't know if you know uh, yo yo. Yes. Know, so a lot of a lot of really dope artists that I grew up listening to that I've had the privilege to have conversations with. I think have been my you know the Billboard year. Yeah, kudos. I love the Billboard or whatever. But these moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, moment. those are. I treasure those moments. It's big. It's big for me. It's bigger than a billboard. I feel you. It might sound it weird. It might sound like what are you talking about. It doesn't. Like, those moments, like I will forever treasure. You know what I mean? It's definitely that people. Not everybody can get. 
Exactly. I was just going to say, and look, just look how the universe works, man. Divine timing that, you know, that, that happened for you, like it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. And I relate with you because of some of the people that, some of the legends that I used to listen to and uh, I only dreamed of meeting when I was young yeah. and I've had my show now. And it's like, yeah. and I'm like with you, that's Amazing like. Amazing feeling. You, you're like in awe, right? You're trying not to get too geeked up on it while you're talking to them. <laughs> it's, it's like, so it's real, but it's a surreal feeling, right? Yeah, it's like yeah, real, definitely. but it's surreal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'd be trying not to get nervous, but I'd be nervous. And then I'm like, <laughs> trying like, yo, you better not fumble, girl. I was actually a little geeked up because I did a showcase um, a few years back and I had Rod Digger. She hosted it for me. Oh, she's dope. Yeah, she's Rod dope. Digger and uh, Grandmaster Flash. So <laughs> That was a pretty dope experience as well. That's dope. I met Rod Digger too. Actually, I met her. I was um, at a conference with her. And um, yeah, man, it was dope. She has she's dope dope energy. Yeah, she's I like dope. her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. See? So, all right, I want my next question, Neil. If you could go back and relive your life again, knowing what you know now, but not knowing how it would turn out, would you go back and take that risk, or would you stay right where you are at this point in time? I'll stay where I'm at because good or bad, all the life lessons, everything I've been through has made me who I am today. Exactly. And so, if I change it back, I wouldn't be who I am now. Right. And I don't want to change who I am because. I'm genuinely who I am. Right. You exactly. Know, I don't sugarcoat shit. I think that's why so many people hate me. Cause I'm like, I have no hair on my tongue. Right. I like that though. <laughs> I mean, that's like, the reason, you know, they whisper in my head, like, hey, can you say this? And I'm like, all right, you're Mike, I'll say it. <laughs> I love people like you though. Like all my close friends and family, no filter. They say yeah. how you feel yeah. me? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's way better to have people like that around you than people that just I be like, you know. Like you sound like, say for instance, like you're singing and you sound like crap, but they're. I'm gonna you know, let you know you sound like singing. You should yeah, stop. Yeah. Because you know, you're, you're doing a disservice to someone. Yeah. <laughs> to my ears, I know. <laughs> yes. And to other people's. But, but you know what? As well, because you said like you've done the review show. So I've just found a way when I do my review show of, because I've been the person that people have come at and how can I say it? Like, I, don't get me wrong. I, I like people to be straight up. But I also feel sometimes there's a way of saying it. And only because of how I've been spoken to before by certain people yeah, and it, right. it not my confidence yeah. in certain areas. So like on my review show, I made a point. I, everyone's like, she keeps it real. But it's just I'm a little bit more tactful in how I say things now because I've learned to be just through experience of how right. some people come at me. You get me? Right, right, right. Yeah. No, definitely. Well, at least you know from it. So. Yeah. So mm -hmm. but I'm with you all like, a thousand percent, man. You gotta mm -hmm. keep it. You gotta keep it 100, man. Definitely. For real. The real friends keep it 100. They even if you ain't gonna what they say, you gotta take it on the chin. And you gotta, you gotta value me even more that they're not yes man. I yeah, hate. Why you be upset at me telling you the truth? Because you know what, that those feelings are temporary. Exactly. You'll be mad like for a moment, but then you'll sit back and realize, you know what, she was telling me some real shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely. I'm a leader. I'm not a sheep. And I know you are. And I know the people that are around me. They're all leaders. They're not following. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, shout out to uh. Lil Mo mentality in the building, insomniacs. Hey, the insomniacs family is in the building. Shout out to Sure Shop Productions in the building. Shout out to GTM Management as well. Shout out to uh, Rashad Swift Music as well. Shout out to Sudan, New York City as well. That's everyone on the Instagram side. Just shout out to everyone that's in the building, man. We appreciate you being here. Uh, shout out to Rich, Rich Alexander, still here sharing out. That's dope. Shout out to Tommy, man. There you go. Tommy DeBoard, he says, any is there anyone who wants to do some Christmas karaoke music through a disability video chat? Do you have um, to know how to sing? I'll do it. That's I mean, done. That that's done. I will please Tommy uh, inbox me. I would love to do inbox. it. Inbox, please, Tommy. Follow um yeah, in, uh, Jess Blaze on Facebook. And, I'm, I'm definitely I do a lot of charity and give back. So anything that's dope. service, I'm all for it. That's so dope. I was gonna ask you that too. So that's dope. He put that up. That's synchronicity. Yeah, that's cool. saying, do you do you know work for that's like yeah, really that's really cool. That's really, yes, Tommy, we're both down. And um, I know Mr. Larry Leo, if you follow Mr. Larry Leo, he said, well, that's major. Yeah, um, he'll definitely be up for it because he has two outstanding daughters called Panache. They're 11 years old. I'm going to send you some of their music. Sis, oh, nice. They are phenomenal. You'll be blown away. Nice. Definitely. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so my next question to you is, can you give us your top three favorite music genres in the order of your favorite? First, oh, genres. Favorite. Okay. Um... Yeah. Hmm. 
Does it have to? Does it matter the order? No, right? Or does no, it have well, to I would. Well, no, actually, no. You know what? Normally, I would say your your first, your second, and third. But then the order don't really matter because with me, if someone asks me that, I'm like, yo, some music I like the same as you know. What I mean, some yeah, exactly on the same level. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah you can do it however you want. Um, hip hop, obviously, uh, salsa because I'm Hispanic, I'm Puerto Rican. Dope. Dope. Um, dancehall music. Yes, um, I love classical music. Dope. Me like, too. I listen to classical music every day. That's dope. <laughs> All the time. It's it's very calming. It's soothing. It is. My son calls me an old lady when I listen to it, but I'm like, you're not gonna eat tomorrow. But okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, uh, though, it's like meditation, though. It, it is. It, it yeah. sure is. I listen to it to go to sleep. Sometimes I listen to a lot of uh, rain, <laughs> like right. nature sounds. And yeah, stuff like me that. too. Me too. Um, and uh, I love alternative music also. So that's what's up. Dope. And can you name okay top five females in the industry, dead or alive? Uh, Sade. Oh, uh, yes! How'd you say that? <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an old school because of my mother. Sade, Anita Baker. Um, yes. My favorite, um, yeah. What's her name? Tony Braxton. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, my God. I can't believe I'm getting a brain fart with her. Oh, my God. I'm getting a brain fart with her name. Okay. Um, I like Ciara. I like, yeah. I like, I like old Ciara. Me too. I like, like old Sierra. Like, oh. yes, and, and, and we have to love Aaliyah. Yes, that's baby girl. That's and baby and girl. I think I went overboard in Alicia Keys, my bad. I went oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Everybody I love. See, look at that. Look at that. Okay, how about how about males, dead or alive in the industry? Oh boy. Um Nas. Yes. Dope. Uh, can it be groups? Dope. Can it be groups or no? Just individual. Oh, can it be? Yeah, groups. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Wu Tang. Yes. Wu Tang, Mob Deep. I did that. Um, Tupac, mm -hmm. obviously. Yes. Um, and uh, what's his name? Rivers. Uh, Big Pun and Big Pun's son. Uh, Big Pun's son is a problem right now. That his son? Yes. And a lot. Chris Rivers. That's his name. I'm sorry. A lot oh. of people are sleeping on him, and he. I feel like he's so underrated right now. Like he right now should be. Trending. The, he should yeah. be trending right now. Literally, right. he should be trending. Not all these other yuppies, but he should definitely be trending right now with his music. But they won't let him trend because he's speaking conscious music. I was just gonna say that we can they get don't, on. They don't. They don't promote conscious music. They want to pro promote, you know, popping pills and drinking and uh -huh. pussy and ass and all fucking all that other bullshit. You know, everything that affects the mentality of the people. Everything mm -hmm. negative that affects oh, yeah. the, mentality of the people yeah. is what they want to promote because their their aim is to it's easier. Yes, yeah, to destroy us. Yep. Yeah, because it's all about the money. It's, for it's easier to influence negativity than positivity, as weird right. as it sounds, because positivity is just so, it should be natural. Right. But there's, but that just proves, like, because of how much negativity that, that is oh, put, yeah. into, put into the world. It. They put so much energy it's, into it, it's crazy. And, and they know the power of positivity. They know the more positivity that's out there, the more it's, it's going to override back. the negativity. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So how about, how about, this is going to be a hard one, but you can go over five. Independent top five independent females. Oh, <laughs> but you can go over if you want. That's cool. Why? I thought we were cool. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my son is back from Puerto Rico. Hey, hey that's what's up. Yes. Good young king. Um, uh, oh my god. I and you know what's so crazy? I suck at names, which is even worse. Um, that's cool. okay. I do, um, I do have to say Dre and Nicole. Dope. Oh, yeah, she's a singer songwriter. Uh, she's super dope. Fire. Um, hold you got me going in my Instagram, girl. Oh, that's <laughs> <sorry. my second. laughs> oh Lulu. So, um, you gotta give me a second. Oh, I can't even tell you. You know why? Because surprisingly enough, I don't really, um, I don't really communicate with too many female artists as much as I would like to. Right. Like, I, and I have. You know, I have it open for them to send me music, uh, you know, to be in my magazine, to do interviews and things of that sort. But I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I'm more it's, tapped into male artists. I feel like, you know what, though? I kind of agree with you. Like, I obviously, you know, I do have a plethora of females, but uh, obviously the males outweigh the amount of females. And, you know, it's true. But I think it's, again, 
I don't know why. I think it's again because it's probably more male dominated, but there are so many phenomenal females in the yeah, there, are, there are a lot of dope females. I'm gonna send some your way. I'm definitely gonna send you like some Please, of the ones. Yeah, because like I said, I, I have the majority of the music that I have on my rotation are men. Mm -hmm. With the exception of a few with, with the exception of a few R and B singers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you know, I, I don't want it to be continue the male dominant industry yeah. mm -hmm. there's powerful females out there lyrically. Not just saying, exactly. but they have women out there that have, poof, they'll kill people with their bars. Facts. Literally, you know? Facts. Yep. Yep, definitely. I'm going to send you some. Trust me. I got it. I got a plethora of them. But again, it is male dominated with my station. I think the majority of stations are male dominated unless they're only dealing with female artists. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, anybody else? I can't no. think of anything. Let's go to the men, males. Okay, so that's okay. Saquon, Purge, yeah. Robbie, yeah. um, um, his what's his name? Um, General Cake, uh, no. Will, Big Haas. No. These artists are super dope. They also some of them also performed at my showcase as well for obvious reasons because they're dope. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and I like their music. And you know, like I said, I keep up with a lot of artists, not not for the purpose of like, oh, you came on my on my show, or I want you on my show. It's so I try to develop relationships with them also. Bing, ditto. You know, like, you know, right. you need help with anything, you know, you have a question, or if there's something like I said before, if there's something that I can't provide you with, but I have that plug, you know, like I call I call I call strong uh, jewel right now because I think she got that plug to me. You know, things like that because I don't I don't mind outsourcing anything. That's how I feel. I know that you that you provide something that I don't have. I'm gonna give that to you. Why well, I'm gonna be a hater? Why well, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I know someone I'm gonna tell you. Oh, like, you know what I mean? That's just being selfish because there's enough money in the world to go around everybody. Come on exactly. now. You know? Exactly that. Exactly. And not only and that, then, that, but I'm a big I'm a big believer in karma and paying it forward. Me you know, too. Anything you do will come ten times forward. That's why I'm such a giving person. <sighs> See? Like looking in the mirror. <laughs> That's how I always say that what you put out comes back. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and the That's thing is with me, and I and I feel you're the same way. Like I've never this is the honesty. I show love because I I know I I actually love the feeling of showing love. Like mm -hmm. I don't give it makes you feel good. Yeah, again, yeah, yeah. community service. I um there you go. I made sure for Thanksgiving, I I cook an entire Thanksgiving dinner. That's so beautiful. That's and I, and I donate it. Uh, the last one that I did was in 2019. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do it in 2020 for obvious reasons because of the COVID. But in 2019, um, myself, my husband, and a couple of other people that you know came and joined with me, uh, you know, we cooked and we fed over 137 people in a homeless shelter. And you know, just things like that just make me feel good. Even you know, all I ask back for is a thank you. I don't, right. I don't care about a social media post. I don't care about you. Going on a bullhorn and saying, you know, she did this to me just personally. Yo, Blaze, thank you. And that's enough for me. Right. I yeah. love that too about you because again, you know, you see, you know, especially with social media, it's like like with social media even, you see a lot of people do stuff, but they have to record it and stuff like that. And it's mm -hmm. not it shouldn't you shouldn't have to yeah. do it because you want the world to see you should just I do it. Have, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I have done it and the only reason why I have done it before is simply to show people how easy it is. Oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong on that. How but I think like people you have to no, there's some people that do it to exploit it. Yeah, I was just gonna say people have different stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they're not even doing it to be nice, they're doing it to see how many likes they can get. Exactly, yeah. That's their motive and that's their goal. How many likes can I get? How many shares yeah. can I get? Can I go viral? You know, exactly. that's sort, like there's no hard in it. You like I definitely don't see. I understand your purpose for doing, and that would be mm -hmm. the purpose I do it just to, like you said, to show people how easy it is. It you is. know, right, listen. Once it gets wet every year, when when the wind when the wind and the the cold starts kicking in, in out here in New York, I make a post and I'm like, look, people, if you smoke weed, you drink every week, and you party or whatever, if it's freezing outside and you see a homeless person, buy them a coffee, buy them a bagel, like thirty two dollars. It's not gonna kill you. Exactly. I do, I, do time, that. You know? I do that. Or I give them like I, like clothes and stuff. Like I give a lot, even like if it's yeah, brand socks, socks, are the, socks are actually more important than clothing, believe it or not. A lot of people yeah. don't know that. Hats also. Hats, yeah, hats, gloves, and socks. Because those are those are your um those are the part of your extremities that get cold cold the fastest. 
exactly you know? and they're the ones if you cover them it warms the whole body up exactly yep that's, that's, right. yeah. mm -hmm. that's beautiful that you do that man for real because yes. again it just shows the selfless love that you give mm -hmm. and that's why people should do things like you should do it because you love the feeling of giving you know what i'm saying and don't even you know don't even expect stuff back just do it mm -hmm. and do it with a pure heart and guess what it's gonna you know what i mean you're gonna see how blessed your life is gonna be we're all gonna go through stuff but yeah. the that, that's, that's the test though isn't it it's to see how we deal with situations whether or not that we the devil can tempt us into you know what i mean switching and going yeah. a certain way. yeah it has a way of tapping you on your shoulder like hey i'm yeah. here get on me. and i'm like get away get away you're the devil get away <laughs> exactly exactly that yeah thousand percent so if there was one person that you could interview right now in the industry so not in the independent realm because that that's easy to make that happen but um in the independent industry if i could make it happen even though you've been doing yours longer than me so you're probably gonna be the one that can do it for me <laughs> who would you choose who would you choose and why would you choose them out of everybody in the industry whatever they do dave chappelle so I've always, even before I did radio, I'm like, I want to sit down, smoke a blunt, have a conversation with that man. He's 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 phenomenal. He's ridiculously intelligent. Um, the way he speaks, the way he he um, I don't want to say influence because that's not the right word, but the way he explains things and educates people in a way where he can like even add a little bit of humor and even without the humor, it's just the way he words things. You know, and, and he puts it in a way where you you have to understand this if you don't understand it you're a freaking moron you know and, and and the fact that he believes in himself and he stands for who he is yes you know, this is a man that turned down a, a 40 million 140 or 40 what is it 40 or 140 i think it was a 40 million dollar deal with it was 40 million it was he massive turned out a 40 million dollar deal if that doesn't tell you a lot about a person mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean um yep. But yeah, definitely him. Definitely, him, without a doubt. So dope. I agree with you though as well. With I mean, you know, he he's he is. Him he's and like, Morgan Freeman. Oh, there you go. There you go. I love Morgan you Freeman. Back up. If we can't get him, it's cool. We get him. Yeah, one of them. That's definitely. You know, you know, he's he's, dope. he's an awesome actor. Yes, he's dope. He's really dope. Well, That's Chef Ramsay too, because you know I've been. Oh, they, oh, him! Oh boy, I love watching him. I was on, I was on Master Chef. When? For you? I, 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 I auditioned um in twenty eighteen, I believe, or twenty nineteen. I auditioned, That's and dope. that was that was an amazing experience. Obviously, I'm I didn't make it through, but just the point that I was that they called me back, and I had to make a plate, and I had to make a dish, and present it, and I had one of the former winners. From the shows you know taste my food judge my food you know it was, it was a really good experience you know that's so dope oh yeah. wow that's what's up see yeah. and you know you obviously are an outstanding cook too you know what i mean i've seen you as when you come to new york we're gonna eat <laughs> how did you know that <laughs> uh, <laughs> i made the love how did you know that? <laughs> that's what's up um, let me ask what part of new york are you what part of new york are you from I'm originally from Brooklyn. That's what's up. Are you still living in Brooklyn? No, I'm in Queens now. That's what's up. That, yes. Which you prefer, Brooklyn or Queens? Uh, Queens. No, well, it depends. Brooklyn has more bodegas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Queens, they have bodegas. They, they want to close early. They're, they're not about that life. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, Brooklyn, and Brooklyn has more authentic food in right. certain areas, you know? How long have you been, how long have you been in Queens? um since my young teenage my, my oh, parents my parents kind of like took me out the hood you know when i was yeah, young yeah. you know because that's back in the thing. 80s it was kind of crazy, crazy yeah like so once uh i believe like in the 90s i moved out into queens that's what's up that yeah. was a good way that they did take you out too. Mm -hmm. yeah. so when you when we were younger like what was your what did you envision your did, what did you envisage yourself doing a cia agent hey so this day i want to do that 
That's dope. I'm from Sevilla, so yeah, I just I'm like a spy. I'm like a, I'm like Inspector Gadget and Carmen San Diego. Oh my goodness, you're making me laugh. <laughs> you make me laugh because my man always says that to me. He's like, "Yo, you're like a like," and I don't even mean to. I just kind you of don't. Just, yeah, and then it exactly. falls on your lap, like just like, "Oh shit, this for me, thank you." <laughs> exactly, and my mom's like, "Yo, you, you really, it really does." I'm like, "I know, that's crazy." <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was gonna say, so did you like? Did you do did you do any courses or anything towards that or was it still just something that you like yes. good, in, good investigations that's it right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um i was gonna say that's dope that's dope though that's dope that you still that's still something you want to do that, yeah that and modeling like I, you know modeling i was gonna we haven't even got to that yet because let me let me show people some pictures i was, I was published gonna, i was published in 2007 in latina magazine so that's dope yeah because you are so naturally beautiful i don't guys you're not even Thank wearing you. any makeup let me, <laughs> let me throw this picture up hold on boom <laughs> running boom <laughs> definitely Thank i mean you, you i was gonna say like what why why didn't you i'm gonna ask you this question because i remember people used to say it to me and i never i just never got into it until obviously older and getting into the music and stuff but why didn't you did you ever like like think to go to an agency or anything like that or did you just get caught up more caught up in like what you're doing now and just life and other stuff um well i used to go to a ton of auditions oh that's dope a ton of auditions um um I used to go to auditions with one of my good friends, too, because she was modeling at the time. And, you know, it was so cool to find a girl that was tall like me because, you know, all my friends were always shorter than me. I'm 5'10". You're 5'10"? You know? Yeah. So I would always be looking down at my homies and putting my arms around them. So finally I get a girl that she's like my height. And I'm like, yo, let's do this. You know, so we would go to a lot of auditions. That's um, what I was constantly doing photo shoots and that sort. Um, but I kind of got, um, I, I kind of started getting turned off because, you know, you start dealing with photographers they call you in for, for photo shoes and then the conversation goes from oh yeah we just want to take a couple of shots so then when you get there they're like oh take that off and i'm like take yes. that off. Oh. take off the, 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 the scrunchie in my hair that's what you want me to take off i'll take that off like no take the shirt no i'm not taking no shirt off like oh but take it no i'm not doing that either that's not what i came over here to sign up for right you know, right so with that because you know there are a lot of women unfortunately who are gullible and they see it as an opportunity. They're like, oh, okay, I have a nice body. Let me just take this off because this will get me a deal or this will get me to the next, you know, to the next opportunity. And it's like, I wish women would really appreciate themselves more and value themselves more and knowing that you don't have to go that route. Exactly. Oh, Amen. You, know, oh, you know what I mean? So I, I kind of caught a, a bit of a distaste for that, you know, mm -hmm. and then I got with my husband and, you know, he was supportive knowing that I was modeling and stuff like that. But I kind of took, like I said, once I got with him, I kind of took a step back. Right. And I was like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Oh, it's going to happen for you again. It's definitely going to happen. No, I'm too old. They, they, my, I, I, no, I, I'm going to be 40 next, month, next year. I'm going to be 40. You don't even look at those, sis. <laughs> I can't even give my age away. I'm going to, I'll tell you in secret. Oh, I ain't no. we, gotta stop. we like the same age, I think. More or less. Around I'm gonna tell you off air. Right, okay. right. So thank you. But so do you. I swear to God, you do. You don't even look older than 25, sis. <laughs> Listen, and then, baby, just, they think my son and me are, are, are a couple when we walk in the street. Because my son is so my son is six six five. There you go. So so walk in the street and they're like and they're like, oh that's your boyfriend or that's your girlfriend. And he just looks at them like, oh, that's my mother. <laughs> but see, there you go, see. So that is <laughs> The fact that yeah, you look you look twenty five and you do not look no older than that. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate so listen, it. you know what? Again, I'm glad you just said that. Again, I can resonate with you on the modeling thing because even when you know later on in life, when I did get the opportunities to do it, I had that same thing. I, obviously, you know, being like a, I say a spiritual Muslim because I'm not a practicing Muslim, but you know, wrapping my head, you know, having the the hijab or the headscarf, you know, wrapping my hair all the time. Mm -hmm. I went on so many shoots and they refused to public. We took. I'm I'm not. You know. Yeah, I'm very humble, but we took some great pictures, but they wouldn't publish me. I had to fight for them to publish me in the magazine because really? they wanted me to remove my head wrap and have my hair down. Oh, yeah, wow. and, it's, and then and the same thing, like they wanted me to wear certain things, but it, when I go to the shoots, I would always, you know what I mean, still be covered. Like yeah. obviously still tight stuff, but still make sure I got yeah, like yeah. Yeah, and stuff, and I would rock it. But yeah, they were trying to do the same thing as, 
as with you. That's and I'm horrible. Like, I'm not having this, man. And I, and I just stuck, I'm glad I stuck to my guns too. I'm yeah, glad. absolutely. Because if, like I said, if, I went in. I went into modeling. I didn't have no six pack. I don't. I don't have big boobs. You know, I don't have the whole package and things like that. Like what men, you know, look for or glorify or whatever the case. I'm going off the strength of my face. I'm hoping right. my cells, you know, my dimples that my mama gave me. Hoping rubber suckers work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's why I never gave. And you know, I've I've got offered to be in a ton of music videos, and in the music videos, they require you to be in bikinis and yeah, thongs. They do. Like, no, I'm good. I will pass. Yeah. I'll be the I'll be the person handing out the water. <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> I'll do that. You know, but I'm not saying mm-hmm. I'm not, I just refuse to take off my clothes. It's never been my thing. That never been mine either. So whether, whether I'm, you know, whether I was married, had children or not, it's just no, never been mm-hmm. my thing, you know. Yes, and I, that, again, see, we resonate on that too because that's, that's, <laughs> that's been me all the way through. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And shout out to a few people in the building. Shout out to Code Red. Thank you for sharing. We've got Babs and Beats is in the building. Uh, who else? Mr. Larry Leo said, "Wow, she cooks so well." Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, No Sleep Man. Rich Alexander said, "Nassim, I'm glad y'all linked up. Just Blaze is a real one." Yo, she definitely, definitely, I'm so glad as well. It's definitely synchronicity, man, for real. There you go. Uh, does those lights in New York, oh, do the lights in, oh, that's a good question. Code red. That's a great question. Do the lights in New York really inspire you? When you go to Times Square, yes. When you walk into Times Square, well, 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 when I walked into, when I went to Times Square to go see my billboard, yeah. Um, you know, I got off the train and it's like, whether you're getting off the train or you're driving into Times Square, you're like right on that strip. It can be eleven o'clock at night, you know, just straight straight night, and that whole strip is bright as ever. Like it's so bright, and you know the colors and the lights are just so, and it is inspiring. It really is, and it makes you feel like I got them. I have to make it some way or another, you know. I mean, it doesn't. It might not give everybody that type of mentality, you know. But for go getters and stuff like that, you look at that like, yeah, man, I something that I got to do. You don't live in New York for no reason. Right, right. Be out here and make something of yourself, you know. Right, definitely. Come on, man. <laughs> That's New York, boy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's funny because, like, I think I've been to Times Square, but I haven't. I've literally not. I've literally just crossed over. That's it. I've literally. Oh just no, been, you have to. You know, I, I haven't. I gotta. I gotta come. Yeah, I gotta come. Hot dog, like, a dirty hot dog with a nice. I gotta do it. So you know, get like an eight dollar pretzel. That should be like two dollars. <laughs> two thousand twenty-two is on. I definitely, I gotta make yeah. it happen for real. And shout out to everybody. thank you for all you do. That's amazing. You bring out the best people. Yeah. Isn't uh, thank you. I, I humble that. I humbly appreciate that. She is phenomenal, man. Just yeah, please, y'all fun. better better tap in. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Doesn't she? Oh, you're making me. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up but um listen yeah my other question to you is like what advice would you give to independent artists out there can you give them all a do and a don't so one do that you would definitely tell them to do and one don't that um jess blaze would tell them to do? be yourself be as transparent as you possibly can be because ain't nobody else that could be you but you dr seuss even said it right yes no one is truer than no one is truer than you but you I have I actually have the quote on my wall in my living room. That's right. <laughs> I can't That's remember right. it. But yeah, just be you, be who you are, be authentic, you know, because there's gonna be people out there who really appreciate who you are. And you know, don't be right. afraid to to speak your truth. Because as many times as I've told artists, please don't be don't be afraid to speak your truth because we're over eight billion people in this world. It's gonna be a ton of people that are going through the same thing that you're going through. It may not be in your home time. It could be. It could be in the UK. It could be across the world. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean. But you don't know who who you're gonna um affect as far as your music goes. Social media is so broad. You put your music right. up on on social media. You don't know who's scrolling and might happen to listen to it, and then oh shit, it happens to help them at that moment. You know. Right. Mm-hmm. So just you know, I, I can't stress that enough to just just be you. You know, that's it. Okay. Be real. And and what would you tell them? Yeah, I mean, is that like your do? Is that your kind of do and don't? Like, be you, don't be someone else. Because that's actually a do and don't in the same accord. Well, really. do. I'm sorry. Do get your freaking songs tag. God damn it. <laughs> tag there you song, go. Tag your songs. <laughs> tag, <laughs> tag your songs and stop lip singing. I'm sorry. I know you said one, but there's just so many. Things. No, that's cool. There's a lot. Is, you know, and, and and you know, if you just do these things and apply these things, you know, artists can really become better artists. And don't don't sell yourself short. Don't think that that you know because I've seen posts of uh, uh, 
on Facebook and Instagram and, and artists saying, oh, I think I'm going to give up music because no one oh, is right. listening to my music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I've, a- I've lose my drive to, to write and things like that. And, you know, just tap into something that brings you back to that moment where you want to write. Right. Well, not only that, but again, start writing about your truth. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, man. Yeah, I do. You know, yeah, I'm with we, it. Mm-hmm. We, all, we all get our moments where, you know, we get sucked out and we feel like, eh. You know, we we get discouraged at certain points in our time. It's, it's normal. It's human. Facts. But, you know, try to find something that, that'll get you back into that motivation. Facts. And be around people. Can't stress it enough. Be around good energy. Be around good energy. Be around people who really, truly believe in you and people who really and truly be honest with you. That'll tell you, no, that song sounds like shit. I don't think you should play it. I don't even think you should play it. Just trash it and start over. You know, just be around those type of people because it'll, you know, you value them more and it'll benefit you more in the long run. Yes, oh man, definitely. Because I I think that, like, the worst thing when I've gone on, like, other different, uh, you know shows and stuff is when i watch and and i listen to the music and you know and i hear people say yo it's great and i'm like yo really you know and i kind of try and approach it if, if you know when people send that on my show i'm like listen you have it but this ain't it right go back restart. we're not saying that we don't sound like somebody else too like exactly. oh, man. You, know, you, know, <laughs> you know there's a lot of artists that i know too that you know uh five years ago they sounded entirely different and then here now they found their sound. Why? Right. They, they, they found their flow. They found what worked for them. And I'm like, yo, you sound great. Yes, my mm-hmm. friend said, yes, you could definitely start over, Mr. Larry. You yes. know, and, and you know, and I told them, like, yo, you've grown a lot. You know, mm-hmm. you, and it's okay to switch up your flow. It's, it's okay, like, to just go through these processes. Exactly. That's part of the game. That's part of growth. That's part of just making it. Facts. And don't think making it as, you know, being with these big ass artists because they're going through their shit too. Mm hmm. That's it for real. You know, I try to tell, I try to tell, well, I've tried, I've been trying to preach that, um, you know, the indie, the indie world, we have our own world. Yes, we do. Like everything, oh. and everything can literally go full circle. Yes. I'm not just talking about radio, I'm talking about radio producers, um, everything. photographers, models, artists, yep. um, PRs, uh, bloggers, you know, all of that can go full circle and nice. you can keep it within the indie industry and make right. the indie industry become just as big as mainstream. I love the fact you just said that because guess what? We are the NIT, baby. We are new industry takeover. There you go. You already know. You know what I mean? Right, uh, right now, um, you know, um, uh, mainstream music is like really like oversaturated. You don't even hear it as much. Facts. Internet radio is taking over mainstream radio right now. Yes, it is. We and, are in the next, and in the next five to ten years, it's going to be completely taken over. People right. don't listen to the radio. People are streaming uh, YouTube. They're streaming Pandora. They're streaming yep. Spotify. They're listening to TuneIn. They're listening yep. to all these other um, links where they can listen to you and myself and, and yep. other artists and things like that, audio mark, max and things of that sort. You know, So all yep. of that other shit on the radio is going to be in the past just like pay phones. Oh, man. Exactly. You know, yep. so we, we got in where we fit in now, so we good. Yes, we blessed. I trust me, you say everything that, that we say on here all the time. You just, yeah, it's, yo, I love it, man, for real. And um, you know what? If you look at the industry, too, you don't see Hot 97 going on The Breakfast Club. Look what we're doing. We have different, you know what I'm saying, like yourself. You bring on other radios. You bring on mm-hmm. other radio, You bring on other businesses, just like I do with my show. You know, and I made, I, I don't know what made you decide to do that, but what the, the, the switch for me, um, the pivotal point for me was working for another radio, right? And basically, yeah, I was getting paid, but I was more like cleaning floors, you know, right. cleaning stuff and just holding up the, the camera to record. You know, right. I wasn't allowed to speak to the guests. Right. I wasn't allowed to co-host. Oh, and wow. yet, so, the, the, but the real turning point for me was when someone else who started a radio show, they, on the day that I wasn't working there, they said, oh, we want you to come and co-host. And I was like, yay, you know, just like as an apprentice. I was like, yo, yeah, like, yeah. I'm getting paid here. Yeah. And, I'm like, and basically the person I was working for, you know, still got respect for him, you know what I'm saying? But it just didn't work out for me. Right, right. Basically like, no, if you go and work there, you can't work for me no more. Mm-hmm. So I had to, I was like, with all due respect. I'm out. <laughs> out. It's all love. Appreciate what you yeah. did. But I got things to do. <laughs> they tried to get me to go back though. Oh, really? <laughs> 
Yeah. When they found out I started my own radio, uh, you know, you know. Back, I was like, that's what's up, but thank you, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So, you're in a better place now, too. Definitely. So I'm definitely excited for the future for us, man. For the, yes, for the, I certainly am. So this I this new am. NIT, man, this new industry taker, we definitely are the new radio, without shadow of a doubt. So, like, what's your biggest dreams and aspirations at this point in your life with everything that you are doing? Uh, to travel the world more, um, so, to get my brand to uh, kind of, sounds cliche, but kind of make it a household name. <laughs> it doesn't know? sound cliche at um, all. I was very discouraged with my logo at first. I didn't show my mother my logo to my radio station for almost a year and a half. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I have such a high respect for my parents. I because you know it has the middle finger and one yeah, day yeah. one day no, I had a yeah, I had, yeah, yeah. I had a banner. I had my banner and I went to her house one day and she's like, Oh, what's in the bag? And I'm like, nothing nosy. And she's like, No, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? And I opened it up and I'm like, eh. And she's like, What is it? I'm like, my logo. And she's like, Oh my god, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, Ma, what you smoking? <laughs> <laughs> you know, straight to the point i love it and i'm like all right i said well if i got mama's approval then it's good you know what i mean yeah but um yeah just you know making my brand to what i envisioned it to be to be something positive to help artists because my number one goal is to help artists as best as i possibly can whether it's me right. spending your, radio, your music giving you a platform for you to speak and have yeah. a conversation with me um, you know, putting it in my magazine, you know, anything that I can pretty much provide, you know what I mean? Just making it where people, you know, will have a conversation and, and I come up, you know, like, oh no, you know what you should holler at? I know filter radio. Like I want to be in, in a, at a point where I come up in conversations and good conversations, which I do already. But, you know, I was going to say, it's already <laughs> manifested. It's already happening. It's, 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 it's yeah. only going to be bigger. Yeah. And, and obviously for the magazine to take off. You know, yeah. it's going to take time. I don't expect it to take off within a couple of months because it's going to take a lot more work and, and things of that sort or whatever. But yeah, just to make it with the magazine, you know, where it is, again, catered to independent artists, you know what I mean? And to give them yeah. that platform to showcase them on that behalf, you know? That's definitely written, man. It's going to happen without shadow of a doubt. Like you said, you already, you are getting mentioned already in rooms and by people and stuff. So it's just going to, continue to you know what i mean just get bigger and bigger you know what i'm saying i definitely i can see it i don't know i have this thing of, of just being able to tell from people's energy and just their presence and just you know what i'm saying just their work ethic who are the ones that are, you kind of you know what i'm saying yeah. already kind of there but mm -hmm. just not at the biggest just not on a scale where everybody knows yet yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Definitely. there's no question about we're, we're the underdogs don't worry yeah and guess what underdogs underdogs come out winning so all the time. Period. Yeah. <laughs> the hunger is different. Yeah, absolutely. Is different. It sure is. Yeah. Sure is. So, like, um, how do um, how if people want to get interviewed on your show, how do they go about that? Like, um, and they could go on my page on Instagram on No Filter Radio LLC. You could hit the email tab, shoot me an email. You could DM me, or Dope. you could email me at nfrreviews at gmail dot com. Um. Yeah. And you know, I do virtual interviews. I do in-person interviews as well. I also do travel. You know, if the so, money's right. <laughs> I'm yeah, was, yeah. I was just saying, people like book you for show. You know, like obviously to to turn up at the shows and do like on the spot interviews and stuff like that. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, and I and I plan on doing that more come 2022. Right. Because I, you know, I have people like, oh, yo, you should have been there, and I'm like, you know, you're like eight states away from me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget the time difference for a moment? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, so obviously you know if if people are serious, then yeah they can just obviously contact you from the website. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And um, all right, this is a fun question. <laughs> you know what I mean? I gotta I gotta throw this question in. It's Ashley's favorite. She's gonna post up in a minute. All right, tomorrow we're gonna be sending you to a deserted island. You might be there for a year. We might leave you there for a year or two. We don't know yet. It just depends. Um, so. On this island, you do have electricity, you do have Wi-Fi. What four things would Jess Blaze need on this island to, in order to sustain you until you come off? And you can take, if it's family, we'll allow you to take family as one. That's cool. Well, I got a friend. I can't be there alone. <laughs> you no, know, you don't have to. I'm just saying. You know, some people want to take family. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, um, food or drink. And if you, any food or drink will give you a consistent amount of supply for the whole time you're there. So, yeah, what would you take and, and we, why? Weed. Okay. 
Boom. I'm not going wraps because the wraps are included with the yeah. reading. So, yeah. tacos. A. That's definitely mandatory. Um, Some pixie sticks. That's, I mean, where is it? Oh, that's these suckers. I'm like addicted to these suckers. Okay. I had a secret I Santa. I see them things there. I had a secret Santa uh, that we did last Friday. And one of my sisters, she bought me about eight packs of these. Let me see. These are like oh, let me see them. It's just sugar, what, baby. It's, just sugar. it's that's what it is. Sugar. Oh, it's little sugar. Oh, you to open them up and you tip it in your mouth. Girl, that take me right back. <laughs> oh, I need these. <laughs> Yo, you have a tooth, evidently. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, um, what else? In the TV, I need I need a phone. But you said uh, I have that. So let's see what we got. Oh, so, so you know what? The weed and the wraps go as one. That's cool. That's one. My you tacos. The, the pick stick. What are they called? Pixie sticks. <laughs> Pixie sticks, TV, and a phone. Yes. No, tacos. Tacos. Oh, tacos. Okay, so what you, you, you're going to take the oh, and phone. Yeah, because you can watch everything on the phone. I can call anybody I want to talk to. I'm there you go. Right now. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Let me see these comments. Here. Oh, look, that's in beat. Shout out to him. He said, Jess, cool interview. That's what's Thank up. You. Thank you. Got, she's got great energy, man. I'm telling you, um, very knowledgeable as well. And you know me well, sissy. She loves that question. And yeah, oh, Ashley said, yeah, pixie sticks. Team pixie sticks, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, shout out to uh, Karen Bowden as well. Tapped in on Instagram. Shout out to I am Jerrica White. I'm gonna be sending you some of her music. Oh, shout out to Jerrica White. She was in. Uh, she was in last month's issue. There you go. Yeah, she she yeah. yeah, she's outstanding, man. And shout out to IMLB9, shout out to Nick Kane One, shout out to Dream uh New York City, shout out to Reckless, and uh shout out to Photos Promotion. Man, everyone's been in the building. That's what's up. And yeah. let me see. Um Miss Larry Lee is a dope. <laughs> that's what's up. Karen Bonin says she's on Facebook now. Hey, that's what's up. So um, like, yeah, my other my last question as well, really. Is like so, you know, when people do hear about you, when they hear about the show, when they hear about the magazine, and that what is like the 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 impact that you want to leave on people, especially and not just you know not just with the music stuff, but even when you're out and you are giving to the communities and stuff, because I love the fact that you're active in the community doing that. Um, what is the yeah? What is the the impact you want to have on people? What's the main thing? That I'm a good person, That's and that I'm always willing to help people out. Like I go, I, my, my parents always tell me I'm always trying to save the world before I try to save myself. <laughs> I feel you. I'm always trying to like, I'm always offering myself to people, even even people that don't deserve it. I'm always, especially Ooh. people I care about, you know, like I, I it was like giving the benefit of the doubt is like, whew, stretch beyond. Right. You know? And, you know, you go through your... You go through your disappointments and stuff like that, but some people you see as them being worthy of you giving in again or whatever, you know? But um, yeah. Yeah, this, this being a good person and being known as, you know, she helped me out or she looked out for me or, you know, she plugged me up with this or, you know, or I could hit her up for whatever. That's dope. Yeah, which is what you, you did state that earlier. So that's what's up. Mm -hmm. And I feel that that's already, that's already, again, that already happens. That's already mm -hmm. a fact because mm -hmm. like I say to people as well, energy doesn't lie, whether it's energy, whether you even like before seeing you on here, just from your Facebook, I love the realness. I love the energy just through the, the conversation, you know, the, the back and forth conversations that we've had, mm -hmm. you, know what I'm saying? you, you exude that. So mm -hmm. that's the done deal. You already do that. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, you're, you're another outstanding, you know, outstanding queen. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to say this because I mean it from my heart, like we definitely need more people like you in this world. Thank you. I not say that because if you imagine how different the world would be. Uh, if we just... yeah, <laughs> I know. That's a whole that's, other that's why, that's why I'm always hashtagging be a good person. I'm like, be yeah. a good person. There's so many shitty people in this world. Just be a good right. person. Especially if you have right. children. Be a good person. Right. You know, be a role model. So, you know, influence them into being good and not being shitheads and, you know, being exactly. rude and disrespectful and stuff like that, you know? Exactly. And I love the fact that you advocate for music with a message, too. I love mm -hmm. that because that's what I'm about. And that's what about this whole NIT. That's what we, we're all about. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a lane for everything. Yeah, definitely. But the fact is, those lanes, those those doors, those floodgates are already open. Exactly. Yeah. So it's our, it's our. You don't, we need have, you don't need any more attention. Yeah, we have to do our due diligence and do everything we can do in order to open the floodgates even more for, exactly. for you know, for this other music content. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. 
Um, so listen, what advice would you give any artist right now, looking at the independent scene or looking at the mainstream, what would you, what advice would you give, would Jess Blaze give any artist that was looking to sign a deal? Don't. <laughs> I love that, see? <laughs> yeah. Stay independent, don't sign a 360 deal. Just stay independent. And you know, if, if you're privileged enough to find a good amount of solid people that will stay in your corner and, and believe in you and can help you. And, and even if they don't know anything, but the fact that the bodies that are there with you present, is not dead weight, you know, right. they, they're, they're giving into where you're trying to be mm -hmm. and they genuinely want you to win. And they're there because they want you to win. Right. You know, live on that, right on that, but just stay independent. Stop looking at all this shit on social media. Stop glorifying the shit that you see on social media because that's what it's there for. It, it's, it's there to program us to believe that that's how we should be. And that's right. how we should be. We should be who we are. Oh, man. Go at your own pace. You know, don't think that you're going to be an overnight celebrity. I mean, don't get me wrong. If, shit, if, if your song happens to go viral, then, yo, kudos to you. Mm -hmm. I'm super happy for whoever happens to get Like, there's a girl on my page. She uh, just hit 100,000 streams. That's on Spotify, and they sent her a plaque. That's what's up. Yeah, so you know, you know, things like that are pretty dope. You know, I'm rooting for people yeah. like that. But again, yeah. just stay independent. You know, don't put out so many albums. Well, thank you. I was just saying that the other day. There's no, <laughs> need, for albums. There's no need for albums because now you're flood. You're 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 compounding me with a thousand songs. Mm -hmm. Hit me with a single or two. Let me keep hearing those singles. Let the people keep hearing these songs individually. Mm -hmm. You know, get them hip to that. Get them to liking those songs, and then, you know, if you feel like you have to come out with another song and do that, I'm so glad. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad you said that because that's definitely, you know, definitely my advice too. Like, because you know, that way you own everything. You know, what I'm saying 100 percent of everything is yours. Um, you know, what I mean, you ain't got no one. Telling a lot of, you. What, what Cameron said, a lot of a lot of artists, artists are not educated about that. Yeah, they're not educated about that because they're not thinking about that. It, it it kills them just to invest in an interview. Right. Oh, you think they're gonna invest in a publishing company? <laughs> that amount alone is gonna scare them, not knowing that it'll benefit them. Exactly. Or as they as they say, scare money don't make money. Exactly. Exactly. That's your phone, right? you are that you heard that? Yeah. Sorry, that was my... <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, scare money don't make money. You are right. You're yeah. so right. And uh, you know what? They have to look at themselves as a business. Yeah. You know, I mean, so like I think like you know you what it you is. You are a business. Exactly. You, I mean, artists, you are a business. We I are think, businesses, you know. Exactly. I think with a lot of them, they just want to. I don't know. Like they feel like there's a magic thing out there that's just going to take them straight to the top, but they don't understand. Yeah, they're putting the work in. It doesn't work that yeah. way. They don't understand the um. How can I say it? The uh, not all the legat. You know, not all the um. How can I say it? All the um. Uh, <laughs> how can I say it, man? How can I describe it? All the discrepancies with a deal. All mm -hmm. the hidden discrepancies behind a deal. Yeah, they saying? don't read the fine print. That's why. There you go. Mm -hmm. They, yep. see, they see they read where it's in bold with dollar amount and then they, they just run off with that. Right. Karen said be in oh, my one time fee at 150. Karen, unfortunately, <laughs> they're gonna be scared of that amount, believe it or not. <laughs> Trust me. You hit the nail on the head when you said they don't want they don't even want to pay for interviews. They like don't. that's why I do interviews free. Because they don't want to invest. You even if it, even you, if it, you know why? You know why? Because like I said, there's so many people in the world, your price is just not their price. Right. But there's gonna be people that are gonna be your price and they're gonna right. pay you for your for your content and what you produce because your show is phenomenal. How you, you host is phenomenal. Your Thank conversations you. are super dope. Like you. you're, you're boring, I don't even want you uh, boring is not even a word that I would ever use. You Thank understand you. what I'm saying? So people that's paying awesome. for what they what they're getting and that's entertainment and that's you're giving your show and you're putting on a show. Right. And if you feel like you gotta pay for that, do that. Don't don't sell yourself short. Listen, I had a I had a conversation with Irv Gotti, his uh, his partner, and he was like asking me a couple of questions about my show and asking me how much I charge and things of that sort or whatever. And when I told him, he's like, "Girl, you better stop lowballing yourself." I'm like, "What are you talking about? I'm being nice because I'm not I'm not here to rape nobody's pockets. I'm not like that. It's not about that." Right. He's like, "No, you better charge this because you have to understand what you're worth and, and what you provide for your platform." And I'm like, "Yeah, I get it." 
and I still remain the same. I didn't jack up no price or anything. But again, you're gonna find people who are gonna be who are gonna respect your price. That's facts. You know. Yeah, I think I think that's where you have to draw the line, though, with being too giving. <laughs> you know, showing yeah, too much. Yeah, that's the problem. That's, 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 that's the problem. problem. Yeah. You, you know it yourself. That's when you get too much, yeah. Like uh, it, it, it takes so much energy. It you. Yeah, it sure does. Because the things you have to think about, it's the time too. It's the mm -hmm. time it takes, you know, you know. And there's some people out there, listen, there's some people out there that do half an hour interviews and will charge you like 50 bucks for half an yeah. hour. Mm -hmm. 100 bucks for half an yeah. hour. Oh, yeah. You like sit there and like this, chill, chat, don't care how long it goes on. Like, you feel me? Listen, I cook for my guests sometimes. I'll bring in That's food, no. drinks, all that stuff. They be walking into food. I'm like, I'm like, I hope you didn't eat. I got some food here. It's <laughs> so dope, man. Making them feel yeah. real at home. Yeah, you know, I like to, I like to make them feel at home. I, I try to make them feel as comfortable as possible. Where now they right. feel open enough to talk to me about whatever. Exactly, you know? and that, that's where that energy is all. Like like I said, that's where energy doesn't lie. Like people mm -hmm. always pick up on energy. Yeah, you can't fake it. Mm -hmm. Like Karen, said, if you invest in studio time, invest in you and use it as a tax write off. Yep. And then Babson Beat said, I like true message of Jess. Yeah, she's phenomenal, man. I'm telling you. Thank you. Definitely, definitely been honored to have you on it. So, um, yo, my closing question is like, okay, so like what is the legacy that you are looking to leave behind? Well, I want to leave it to my son because right now he's he's in his second year of college. He just changed his major to music recording. So, um, oh. Yeah, music is his, like, he was, I don't know, he was born with a musical instrument or something that I didn't even know about, but he's so musically inclined, you know, so I hope to leave this for him where he can make this his own and make it grow even more than what it already would be when it's time to pass it over. Right. You know? That's already, that's already written. That's already going to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, just real quickly, I wanted to ask, because I forgot to ask you earlier, is anyone in your family, like, does anybody in your family, you know, before you do radio or music and stuff like that? My sister actually writes poetry. Oh, she does? That's what's up. And she is, oh my gosh, she is so ridiculously talented. She was so talented that when I was younger, my mother said she was going to take all of her poems and publish it. Wow. And she, I don't know what she did. She did some bullshit. I don't know, but it didn't happen. <laughs> but she's so talented. Like I can literally call her right now and give her a theme or tell her, look, I'm I'm feeling happy. Write me a poem about being happy. And she'll literally her pen game is so retarded. It's so and I even told her, I'm like, did you ever think about writing songs for people? You know, and I, and again, yeah. and it, it takes it takes look, it takes this. The, the flame in somebody's ass. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And and you can't you can only push somebody so much. Right, exactly. You, you, can't, can, lead, you, can, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them <laughs> drink it. Yeah, you just freaking took the word <laughs> out of my mouth. I told you, synchronicity, like, I swear. <laughs> this is like a mirror, yo. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, that's dope, man. I just, when you did that, I just, my skin just went, oh, I just got like goosebumps. I was like, oh, about to say it. Dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. That's yeah. true. Uh, is it like uh, just real quickly as well? Like, would you ever do like you said about modeling? Would you ever do? Would you ever do like film? Like, if someone oh, I'm dying to. I'm, that's, yes. my, that's my biggest thing to do. Film. That. I, you could cry, I could cry right now if you ask me to. That's dope. Yeah, aside from the fact of me being a cancer and we're crybabies, that we cry for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love cancers. But yeah, I, I've always wanted to be in film. Always, always, always. I that's even actually thought about going into some improv classes. That's dope. That's yeah. Dope. I have to I, overcome. I have to overcome my shyness for that. Believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, but that yeah, would be that's going to be another dope. Um, uh, dope breaking experience. Yeah, yeah, experience on stream of income, man. For real, that's I can crazy. see that. I can definitely see you mm -hmm. done that. Uh, let me see. Karen's got a message before we close out. That's another thing. When you sign on with a pro, list your beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Karen, Karen's very um in tune with with uh, what uh, independent mm -hmm. artists. She has a. I wish a lot of artists were like that too. Exactly. I wish more artists would take the time out to educate themselves or get educated with things that right. she mentioned because that's very important. The things that she mentioned. Facts, a thousand percent. And I feel like this is where our platforms come in handy and doing, you know, like you said, having different guests on our platform, mm -hmm. are able to, uh, you know, attribute to the knowledge that, that we already know because we're Most always definitely. all learning all the time. Yeah, I'm a sponge all the time. I'm, I'm a student. Yeah at all times you know right. there's, there's things i can learn from you that i would never know you know right that's how i am too and, and i love the fact i love the fact that you you're one of those females that gives flowers to other females too mm -hmm. you know yes 
Yes, like I always give it like it's like I say, like people say, Oh, I inspire them. I'm like, Y'all inspire me. Listen, every time I'll be on the street and I see a woman, I'll be, I want to tell her, like, Oh my god, you're so beautiful. And like, exactly, and it's like I'll make eye contact with them and then they give me like the shit face. And I'm like, All right, I'm not gonna start. Like, I know that's like, this <laughs> pretty ugly. Like, you're just pretty ugly. I'm gonna just leave you where you at, but you know, I, I have know. absolutely no problem telling the woman that she's beautiful, telling the woman that she's dope. Right. Congratulating right. her, wishing her the best, rooting for her, like none of that. Because again, it's not, right. anything, and it's not taking anything away from me. It's, that, it actually, it's adding to you when you do yeah, that. Yeah, it makes me feel good to be able to like push another female. So I'm like, yo, you mad dope. Like, yo, like, yo like, what you doing is fire. Yo, like, that's what's up. You know what I mean? I exactly. Oh, man. Yeah, sure. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. Exactly. That's dope. That's how it should be. So, um, yeah, what, um, yeah, what advice would you give um, anybody out there pursuing whatever dream it is? I think did I ask you that already? If I did, forgive me. I don't think I did. No, no, no. no. no um, <laughs> um, believe, believe that you can do it. You know, no. we all have we all have the same twenty four hours in a day. You know, we all have our shit. You know, I tell people this all the time. We all have our lives. Life happens too. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we we stumble. Sometimes we get discouraged. Sometimes we fall back. Sometimes we slack. When we're like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then we have to get that oomph to be like, no, I need to do this. Get, get off your ass. You know, you got to talk to yourself and shit. So, yep. you know, again, with those moments happening, just give it your all. Facts. And you don't want to live with regret. You don't want to live with the coulda, woulda, shoulda. Exactly. That's exactly. the worst. You know, you get older and you're like, God damn it, 20 years ago, I should have did this and I could have did that, but I didn't. Right. Give it a shot. And the most important thing, like they say, if you're scared to do it, that means that you should do it. Yes. Facts. Because they say, uh, what do they say? Like like we said, like in order to be yeah, great. You gotta me on that. Fear yeah. <laughs> in, order, in order to be great, you have to be fearless you and be you can't be comfortable. Do not, you can't stay in right. your comfort. You have, yep. You, you have, have to, to be out of it. You have Especially to be uncomfortable. You, to go to the next level. Right. you have to be in an uncomfortable setting. Facts. And, right. and get it and be around people that are in the field that you're trying to be in. Facts. Don't be afraid to be a student. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Like, don't exactly. be afraid. Of that. The worst that, that somebody can tell you is no, I don't want to talk to you. Or no, exactly. I don't want to give you that information. All right, cool, no problem. On to the next one. Yeah. Network, network is so important. Network, network, network. Yes. Talk to people. We can do yeah. stuff. Yeah. I see people on the street sometimes and I look at them and I'm like, you do music? I'm like, I feel like you do music. You do music? Like you sing or something? That's oh yeah, I'm a DJ. Oh words. Yeah, I know I had something that told me that you do music or you're involved in something that I do. Like we gotta connect somehow. I'm like, here's my business card. I'm always carrying my here's my business card. Take my business card down, you know. That's how I be too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's just you have that. You have that ability. You have an. Yeah. You know, you just you're attracted to it. You know. Yeah. Can't without yeah, the music. Most of these people, yeah, you can't miss out on the opportunity because you just never know. So, you never know who you're gonna bump into. Right. You know, the world is so small too. You know. Exactly. And are you looking to manage any other artists? Because I know there's going to be probably artists out there that are really loving your energy, just like I am and the rest of everybody who's tuning in. Um, hmm. And there's probably some out there like, hey, yo, hold on. Maybe I could tap around. I don't know. It's, it's, like I say, don't waste my time. If right. I, if I mm -hmm. invest my time in you, it has to be worth it because I have a lot on my plate. So if right. I decide that I want to invest my time in you, that means I have to cut out a little bit of time here cut out a little bit of time here so now i can make time here for you mm -hmm. because when i when i deal with an artist you know i grow a care for them i, I care about you yep. and i care about you you have a brand I, you might be i might be managing you but you still are your own brand right and i care about your brand and not only that but most importantly i'm representing you so if i'm representing you you're representing me too Exactly. So it's my duty to make sure that you make it and that you look good at all times and you're not out there looking crazy. Right. You know what I mean? So just if you bout it, please be bout it. Bout it, bout it. Be bout it, bout it. Yeah, show me that you really want it. You right. know? I'm, I'm going to want it for you. Right, exactly. You have to, you have to show me that you want it also. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. waste the time. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, don't, please. Right. Don't I, can't any, I can't afford any more gray hairs, you know? Right, right. I <laughs> You don't even look like you got one. <laughs> I know what you mean yeah, though. Bring them on. All over here. It, will, in. <laughs> it, will bring, it will bring them on though, quick. Stress will like, do that. Really good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, stress will definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Sequel, UK Sequel in the building on Instagram. So uh, listen, before we go, I'm what size are you? What um what size Me? are you? I'm a schmedium. No. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> no, I'm a medium. You are a medium? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send you one of these, but do you want blue or do you want red? I'll take blue. And what size are you? So I can send you one also. This is a small. You're small? Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm a yeah. small or medium because it depends on the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Because some mediums are kind of smaller. Yeah, it's small, yeah. Yeah. Men's medium. Gotcha. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. So yeah. I'll get you a dress on that um afterwards so you can let me know because these t-shirts all just came in today. So I'm yeah. just I'm just giving them away to nice. the people that I really rock with. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you it. You are welcome. You're more than welcome. So uh, with that being said, before we um before you close out and do your shout outs and let everybody know where they can follow you, can we just listen to the track one more time? Tell us yeah. one more time. Uh tell us just a little bit about this artist because doesn't he write for you too? Right yeah, that's um yeah, that's Bobby Blaze. Um, he's also an independent artist. He's out in New York in the Bronx. Um, he is also one of my writers for Indie Source magazine. Um, his articles are super dope. You know, he has a really nice pen game for his music and for just writing. You know, for my magazine, I'm greatly appreciative of you know the time that he takes out to write for the magazine and what he contributes and stuff like that. And um, yeah, he's a dope artist. Right, so let's get it. We'll listen to this. Robbie Blaze, and this is higher. You're now tapped into iFrame Media. We are here with the phenomenal Des Blaze. And uh, let's see what y'all think of this. Let's get it. You don't ever be a ticket dance. I know where to find a place. I'm going twice. Trying to see some better days. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Of course, of course. You have to plan it up. Right? Dope. He really, really killed that. Yeah, that was a dope song. Oh my goodness. So is that available on all major streaming platforms? Yes. Yes, it is. So I need everybody, please go and purchase the track. 
Um, you know, independent artists really need you to purchase the music. If you, you know, purchasing the music is probably going to cost you less than purchasing their merch. Exactly. And the thing is, though, as well, like, if you know what I mean? Like, either if you can't support both their music and their merch, at least support one. You feel well, me? Need to, well, artists need to start getting more merch now. A lot of artists don't they have do. merch and they should. They do. And that's another point. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That's so. another conversation that we have to have. <laughs> Definitely. Because I feel like, yeah, they get too caught up in the music and don't understand the other, um, you know, avenues of revenue that they mm -hmm. can bring. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, but yo, that track, fire, man. Yeah, so that's a Robbie Blaze, man, higher. But yo, it's funny because everything he was saying in that track is what we've been talking about, really. Yeah. In yep. a nutshell. Literally. You uh -huh. If you summarize this whole interview <laughs> in the context yeah. you know, about like, you know, being yourself and, uh -huh. and, and doing yeah. good, it was all embodied in that. So that's a perfect way to end it. You see, I changed the background for it. Yo, yeah. these pictures of yours are popping. Um, just quickly before we do the shout outs, close out. Who took these pictures for you? Uh, I had a photographer. That was a photographer oh. that I did. Yeah. It oh, was no. my son, but I forced him to do it. I don't um, remember. Tell me if you don't take pictures, I won't feed you. So. <laughs> well, they came out phenomenal. And uh, let me just put the comments up. Uh, you can see, yeah, nice flow. Uh, there you go. Jess said, thanks for the love, everybody. Uh, Baxter said, I support independent artists. I'll subscribe to your YouTube channel. Mr. Larry Leo, The Fire. Ashley, The Fire. And uh, yeah, definitely thank you for being here, Queen. Love, double salute. Definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, man. So um, can you, um, yeah, take this time right now, do your shout outs. If there's anything else, oh, that, that you have coming up in 2022, tell us now as well. Um, and then, yeah, let everybody know where they can subscribe and all that good stuff. Yeah, so I'm planning um, in February uh, my six year anniversary for my radio station and my one year, I'm doing a coming out party. I'm sorry, coming out for the Sorry. magazine. That's so I'm going to try my best to have the artists that were featured on the cover to yeah, show right. as well so we can do a signing and stuff like that. That's what we do. Um, so that's the plan for February. Um, as far as following me, you can Google No Filter Radio LLC. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, No Filter Radio LLC. Uh, Instagram, you can follow my personal is Just Plays Official. My magazine is Indie Source Mag underscore um, and yeah, like I said, just Google No Filter Radio LLC and you can find me. Oh, and my <laughs> website, I'm sorry, uh, No Filter Radio LLC.com as well. So, yeah. is there any um, particular shout outs that you would like to do? Anybody? Um, well, shout out again to Robbie Blay, also to yeah. Phantom Fuego. He's another writer and also he's a producer, a super dope producer. Um, obviously, shout out to MJ, because you already know she's the truth. Yeah, uh, MJ and I have known each other for since I started radio, and she's just like right. MJ is MJ. MJ like, is MJ. Yeah. MJ, like you just have to say, who, and if you don't know MJ, then you're under a freaking rock. Like I said, um, exactly. <laughs> that's what I said when I had her on my show. Yeah. If you don't know, y'all, yeah, there's something. Yeah, or, uh, if you, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're in the indie industry, yes, and, you and, should and know. Who she like, is. You don't even have to be from New York because she's not even from yeah. New York. She's from up, you know, up north. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the indie industry and you, and you don't know about her or have not heard of her or her you know, name mentioned or whatnot, make sure you get to know her, tap in. She is ridiculously resourceful. She is nice. helpful. She is nice. selfless. Um, nice. And she wants the artist to win. Like, that's nice. her main thing is for artists to win. I, I love her for that. I love her passion yeah. for what she does. She's she a sick-ass writer. Yes. <laughs> She is. Thank you for the vitamins you did for me all these years. I appreciate you. <laughs> yes. She's fire, man. I'll tell you. And just really quickly as well, like, how did you two meet? How did you link? Oh, I didn't remember. Oh, no, that's cool. You know what's so funny? We never met in person. Oh, wow. That's, so that's going to be like, a, you know, you know when you watch a movie and it's like yes. a, beach, in a beach scene and yes. like, like two people <laughs> running together and it's like slow motion and they're like, oh. that's going to be. Yeah, like this. But yeah, we met we met on social media, you know, just like you and I. It just happened yeah. to happen and you know, we conversed and the energy was there and you know, she believed in me because obviously she was way ahead of the game than me. I, right. I learned so much from her. I bothered her with picking her with questions and advice and things of that sort. You know, right. she's just she's just a phenomenal person. I really appreciate everything she's done for me. From helping me with my station, with my brand, and literally helping me connect with people like yourself and so many oh, man. people is, is just amazing. It really, it's a blessing to me. It really is. It really is. Oh, 
definitely without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, she's phenomenal, man. Yeah. Yes. So um any anyone else? Um shout out to Jules, shout out to um Ron Rucker. Hey. Shout out to these are artists also. Um and just shout out to everybody that oh shout out to my partner Rav, Hard Rain Entertainment out in Florida. If anybody needs a DJ out in Florida, he's the man. Um he's I'm very well connected. He uh, plays in city clubs, clubs as well. Any artist I want to send music down to him, send it to me, I'll send it over to him. And oh, he's yeah. in really big clubs and things like that. So he's always asking me to play oh, yeah. music. Because uh, aside from him playing mainstream music, he blends in independent artist music as well, which That's I really good. love about him. You know what I mean? That's so good. Not, like, regular mainstream music up in the clubs. You know, he's throwing in a little, a little indie music. But that's pretty dope. Right. Oh, actually, actually just said she sent a camera request. Yeah, that's what okay. it's about. You know, make sure you, you tap in, man, for real. This is all yeah, that. Bringing that's people cool. on. So that's right. Man, shout out to our Kid QDH just joined, but we are about to wrap up. So listen, oh my God, I'm just, you know. Can I just say something really quickly? Yes. I want to thank you that in this short period of time that you and I have known each other, I thank you so much for allowing me to be on your platform. Your show is ridiculously dope. And I don't mean because I'm on it, because I watched your shows before I even got on it. I watched your other shows. And like I said, your conversation is is really dope. Um, it's very rare when you go on a show or you watch a show. Me personally, I, I watch like five minutes and I'm like, all right, I'm sorry, I'm bored. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> let, me go, let me go Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it really like your energy is super dope, and you know your questions are even doper. Thank you. Oh, thank <laughs> and, you. you know, like your conversation is super consistent, and that's that's very important when it comes to radio and hosting and and having conversations. Like you have me on my toes, and that's a great thank thing. you. Like you really, <laughs> thank, so you so I thank you so so much, and I just really look forward to us working together. Me too. Making sure that can happen, you know. Definitely, <laughs> I am. Listen, I'm getting goosebumps because I already know. That. I know that. I feel the power and the energy yeah. of you, and I feel the same way like about yeah. you. Like I, I was so honored when you said you would come on. I was like, I felt like I feel like like you're a celebrity to me because <laughs> you've been, you been doing it longer than me, and everybody Stop. knows, everybody everybody knows you though. <laughs> nah, but it's real rap because everybody, you know, when you yeah. everybody knows you, it's kind of you kind of are. It's yeah. just. Are you, know, you we on any of the stations? Are you syndicate in any other I am. I'm syndicated. Yes, I am. I'm syndicated on uh, Heat DJ's uh, 97 FM. Heat, Heat DJ's 96 FM. Okay, because I got a station out in uh, Tennessee. Oh, you have? Ooh. Not my station. A station oh, your one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I know you that, I'm, that I'm partnered up with, basically. Do they do syndications? Because yeah, they're going to syndicate you know? mine. And there's actually one in Philly also. Um, let me tell you the name. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Is it Flo? Um, hold on. I want to say it's Flo because he just he just asked me to syndicate my show on his station. Yeah, that's dope because TJ Super was the one when he came on. Shout out to TJ Super. He was the one that he syndicated on 86 different platforms. And I didn't realize I could get syndicated on more than one. I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. It's happening everywhere. So you that's dope. Right. I mean, my station is worldwide, but it's even better when you have other stations that are willing to, you know, play your show. Yeah. Um, it's called um, it's called Fluent Radio. Have you heard of them? They're on no. The no, but I'm gonna, I'm gh oh, no, Chi Town. Chi Town is, uh, Chicago though. Yes. I believe they're in, they're either in Chicago or Philly. I'll have to check oh, them they're out. They're from Chicago. They're from Chicago. Chicago so right. They're looking for other stations to do. Let me write that down. Well, I'll send you. No, no, I'll send you the information. I'll shoot you his um his Instagram. So that and I'll, I actually have a I have to have a conversation with him this week. So Sorry. when I have a, when I have a talk with him, you know, I'll mention your name and then I'll connect you guys together. Please, oh, that would be such a blessing. And something else too. Shout out to the Ryan Show. I don't know if you know the Ryan Show. No, I don't. But shout out to them. Hey, look, go follow them on Instagram and even on Facebook. The Ryan Show. He's super, super dope. He has um he does his show with Mr. Cheeks. Oh, dope. Yes. So he has um he has a lot of things going on. I'm gonna we're gonna talk behind the scenes of that because there's a lot of opportunity that I have to offer you that I know you'd be interested in also. So after that that we'll top it up. Definitely. And then like I said, I got I got, again I got some links and I've also got um the music, you know, you said you know the different artists. Yeah, music. please send me that. Yes, I'm yeah, definitely gonna send you that. Send you that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna definitely talk off, you know, off the next <laughs> But yeah, well, this has been phenomenal, yo. I swear time flies when you're having the fun. Do you realize what time it is? Yes, I just <laughs> seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize that. I swear that's 
letting you know awesome. how good the energy is. Like, it's that. Hold on, I want my son to hear your accent. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you already hear it? Already he already hear it. it? He said, I already, and I have headphones on it. He said, he, she it's doesn't oh, sound Am I too too loud? He's in love. No, he's in love with your accent. Oh, he loves UK women. He loves their is accent. That? He told me he wants to go to the UK. I said, bye. <laughs> yeah, you can she, she said she'll be a tour guide. You know what? There's so many people that want to go. I swear one day if I could actually get, if I was, if, if I could afford it, I, I would. Go. Let's go. Do a plane up. Could you imagine if I we imagine? Oof, that'd be so dope. That'd be so I'm so like, good. you know what? Let's be into man, for real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, Karen said the Ryan show is also on Blog Talk Radio. Yeah, they're, they're, sign they're syndicated in over, I think, like 50 stations. Oh, that's dope, too. Yeah. yeah. They're oh, all wow. the yeah. They're all the You're going to connect. Definitely. Oh, look, yes, what did that? Yeah. Karen said part of AMG. Okay, so there you go. Ashley said, Have a blessed night, everybody. Thank you, Ashley, you too. There you go. That's what's up. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you go, Queen. I'm sorry, we took up so much. Whoa, this was this was awesome. You were phenomenal, you so man. Much. Thank, Thank you so much. And um, you're like, I, third, you're like my third interview, believe it or not. In the five years I've been doing radio, you're the third person to interview me. <laughs> that's a good. Well, last, the last interview I had was about three years ago. Really? Oh, yo, oh, I'm on it. That's what's up. Okay, so, thank you. I appreciate it. I need a refresher. <laughs> you killed it too, man. Like I said, like the, think how the time just flew. It was yeah. there was no awkward silence. Know, what, like eight thirty, I think we started. I think right. Yeah. <laughs> we did. So it's blessed, man. So what are you getting into now? I'm gonna stuff my face with some food. I think I have to eat my son. I'm not sure. We probably didn't yeah. eat yet. But yeah, I'm just gonna relax and keep grinding and working because you know the work don't stop. Yeah. Snap, yeah. you already know it's around the clock, man. For real, Definitely. so um, yeah, man. Hey, listen, much love, Queen. Man, I'm excited. Nice. I'm really, really excited Thank for you. everything that we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna hit you up though. We're gonna, I'm gonna let you know everything that's going on right now. Definitely. Thank you. All right, Thank much love. Stay blessed. Really Stay safe. Hey, appreciate you more. All right, one love. Peace. Peace. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And please go and follow Jess Blaze Official on Instagram. Please, please, please. And also make sure you tap into her radio show, No Filter Radio. And it's at No Filter Radio on Instagram. And also Indie Source Mag underscore on Instagram as well. And if you're not following us, please, please make sure you follow Iron Radio on Instagram, Facebook, um, and you'll be notified every time we go live. Also on um youtube if you could subscribe we're also on clubhouse i'm from radio and um we are also on twitch i'm from radio 215 and if you want to follow me it's strong as in strong jewel as in a jewel 215 on uh sorry snapchat tiktok and also instagram all right so listen everybody stay blessed stay safe stay productive Please keep showing love, man. No justice, no peace. You already know what time it is, man. And uh, yeah, man, let's just keep showing love. Love is the way forward and leave the rest of the the rest of the BS alone. All right, peace, love, and light, man. Stay blessed. And we'll be back for more iPhone Radio tomorrow. Same time, same place with another special guest. Stay locked in. Peace.